Hello there mortals, I'm Jensen and welcome back to Hydraneer. I'm going to take a little bit of a relaxed approach to the stream today on account of me wanting to save my voice for some voice acting while I am uh, kind of anticipating getting into Undertale tomorrow. So I'm going to hit continue, we're going to go into this game. This is going to be the last Hydraneer stream that I do for a wee while. We are basically at mid-game at this point, if nobody's seen the previous episodes or joined the previous streams. Uh, I have uncursed all of my save files uh, with a very, very handy safeguard. Oh no, is it crashing? I think the game's about to crash. Uh, load times will increase for save files with a lot of objects. That's funny. I thought that that initially caused all of the, uh, the world wiping crashes, but as it turns out, that's not actually the case whatsoever. What was causing it was the uh, game failing to instance where to put the data in the first place. Oh my god, I completely forgot about all of this. Oh yes, we've got a cabin in the woods. Uh, looks a little bit jank, but it's still our first house, so I think retrospectively, it's still pretty nice. Uh, we've got Ember Cradle basically automated and set up. We don't really want to focus too much on Ember Cradle because we're not really interested in Ember Cradle. God, I love this house. I love this house so much. It actually feels cozier having a little house. And as someone pointed out in the last stream, there is in fact water next to the house, which probably inflates the price of the property by at least half a million dollars. We've got our first ever ore that we ever pumped out of a machine right here, and also it is the first ever piece of Cloutium that we found. What a stroke of luck that was. It was a 1 in 100 times 1 in 100. Uh, we're going to leave this place behind though. We are basically off to a different location. We are now working on the MILF's Aquifer, I think. Actually, let's go ahead and sleep, just in case we... Haven't already done so. Here we go. We're going to sleep. I just teabagged myself as is commonplace when you are trying to sleep. If you are not teabagging yourself when you try and sleep, then how the hell are you even sleeping? Honestly, you're doing it all wrong. You're doing it all wrong. I can tell you that for a fact. So I'll get on the quad right here because I'm pretty sure this is just our, our little travel companion. And we'll go all the way back to MILF's aquifer, which should be fine. Oh, that's right. Not this one, not what we want. I want to put a little music on in the background of the stream as well. So I already have something lined up right here. Done. The more surprising section of Wage War. It is, I've got Wage War's stripped album. The one where they actually sing instead of just screaming at everything. <laughs> little bit loud on my end, so I'm going to turn it down ever so slightly. Here we go. Okay, and now we have full attention given to the game. So I think in the previous kind of stream that we were doing, we were working on getting to the MILF's Aquifer bottom level. We were setting up a bunch of kind of Cloutium extractors. We found a... M we got two munches and a grinder, I think, if I remember right. Uh, let's Dukes of Hazard over this hill right here. Hopefully we don't break every bone in our body when we land. Whoop, there we go. We broke a couple of bones, but honestly, it's a video game, so how are we even going to know? Let's get off the quad right here. We can go into Satan's butthole, which is what we've named this little area down here. Oh, it looks like we're going down here. So I think the first point of call that we need to do is get some of these bins in the conveyor system here so that we can start pumping out all of the ores and such that this machine here, these two machines, are now pumping out for us while we're kind of like waiting. We've already got a bunch of core stone as well, which is pretty crazy. Awesome, that's the tier three stuff that we need. So we need a left, a right, Two lefts, two rights, and up here we're going to need three lefts, two rights, three lefts, two rights, uh, four lefts, two rights. We need four lefts, two rights. We're going to need some money for this as well. Four lefts and two rights. Okay, let's load this up onto the tractor. We'll go ahead and we'll actually go back to the ember cradle so that we can go and get our gold out of that place. We need four lefts, two rights, and five... Uh, what's my doodles? Splitters. They're split right. Right splitters. Good. Okay, we'll go all the way back. And we are pretty much set up as well. We could go to the DLC area in this stream as well. We can check out what the DLC is like, but if it's actually very similar to what I know about it, it's going to be an enormous place. Like, Someone was saying it's six times bigger than the actual base game map, and all we did when we got there was kind of ooh and ah at the uh, fact that it had a story. So I definitely want to check out that story before we, uh, before we take a break from Hydraenea. I'm not going to end the episodes, by the way. This is not the last episode of Hydraenea we're ever going to do. 
This is just going to be the last one for now, because we're going to be working on some horror stuff soon. Yep. We've got a gold bar. Let's go ahead and whack this in the back of uh, Old Lofty here. And we will take it back to town. Then we'll buy ourselves a bunch of conveyors. So four lefts, two rights. Four lefts, two rights. We've got to remember that. That's what we need. Four lefts, two rights. We also need to create like a truck stop, I suppose, so we can refuel without ever doing anything else. Looks like fuel's getting really, really low because that yellow light on the side of the truck is flashing. I think that's what that means. Otherwise, it'll be like, hey, uh, this is a truck. Don't crash into it. Something like that. But it only works on the right side, which is just crap design. Uh, let's go ahead and get out here. We'll get our gold ingot and we will go and drop it over here at the jeweler. Drop it right there. We've got 163,000 bucks. That'll do the trick, I think. Honestly, that will definitely do the trick. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Conveyor Nation. And we'll also get our cart over here as well, so we can just load up all these conveyors without having to worry about the flipping, necessarily. Because it's a little bit easier to buy buy and build everything with this here cart. Okay, It's a fast one, too, so we're not wasting any time. Excellent! Okay, so let's go over this away. We need four lefts, two rights. So let's get on here, and we'll start dropping them on. Left, we need four of these bad boys. Huh? 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 Four of these lefts right here. One, two, three, one more, and four. We need two rights, and we're going to need a heap of lifts. I don't know how many lifts we're going to need. We should probably actually count it out before we just kind of buy too many of them. Uh, let's leave our money here because we are probably going to go back straight there again for the lifts, but we do have to count them out. Let's put this on the back of the truck right here. We also have a nuke on the back of here. Uh, probably not the best thing to be carrying on such a volatile truck, but what the hell did we do with the cart right there? That is, <laughs> that is not normal. Oh well. Oh well, it should be fine. It should be absolutely fine. Okay, back to the MILF's aquifer, and we will kind of finish the sorting system that we're working on, and we should start pumping out resources. Once we get the sorting system basically all set up, we'll see how much of the plasium we have. We'll make sure we've got the most machines we could possibly get down there. And then we will work on going into the DLC area, see what the volcanic island is kind of like. I can't remember what it's called. I've already forgotten, but you get the idea. It's a volcano. There's probably going to be stuff in the volcano. Uh, why did I take this route? What a stupid decision that was. Ah, would you look at that? Our machines have already broken. That's not amazing. Uh, so this is a left conveyor. And we want to put it right there. We need a left conveyor back here as well. Not there. We want it over here. Right there. Very good. And we're going to get another one. It's going to be put way up top here. Right here, I'd say. Yep, perfect. And down here, we just need the one more. What's this? That's a straight conveyor. We don't actually need any more of these. This is the right conveyor. Let's go ahead and stick that where it belongs. This one is a right conveyor. That belongs... I'm stuck in the soil. That's not good. It belongs over here. We are actually stuck. Oh, no. That's not good. Who's? Okay. Uh, no, we're not. Uh, I was crouched, so we couldn't clip through the, the item that we were standing on. That's fine. Put that one right there. We'll grab this last one, which I know is the left conveyor. We'll go all the way topside, and we will plant this where it belongs. All the way up here. Like in here, maybe? Yep. This looks promising. Uh, still going to glitch jump my way through here. A little bit annoying, but good. Okay. Uh, we'll orient this right, and we'll stick it there. Now we should count all the lifts, so we're going to need one. Basically, for every two that goes up vertically, we're going to need one. So one, two, three. Oops, I'm stuck. All right, I've got a better way of counting. Let's unstuck ourselves so we can actually see what the hell we're doing. Uh, this unstuck method did not work. We actually just got stuck in the truck. Okay, so we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen lifts. We're going to need sixteen lifts and probably a repair kit too. So let's go ahead and unstuck ourselves. Sixteen lifts and a repair kit. We actually need to move this. I don't trust this. 
I don't trust that at all. Okay, we shouldn't have trusted that whatsoever. The car just fell off. That's okay. We'll back it up and we will put it in the back of the truck right here. Very good. And drop it. Very good. Right, and all the way back for 16 lifts. I think we'll uh, start getting into the questing in this game a little bit as well, because we're going to need some guild tokens to get the tier 3 pipes, which I'm pretty sure are able to be bought in this town, but they're very expensive once you consider where the wealth actually comes from. Uh, we need to go to Conveyor Nation, which is right there. Very good. I recognized it because we left money in there, and we said we would do that. Damn it. Didn't want to do either of those movements. Okay, let's grab this. And that tea pipe is now stuck there. That's hilarious. Okay, um, look at my goods. hop on here and try and drop all of these where we can. That's not helpful whatsoever. Maybe we're going to need a better place to just drop. Yeah, that's good. Okay, one and two. Huh? Oh my god, seriously? Two, three. We need 16 of these things. Four, five, Come out six, seven, huh? seven. And eight. Uh -huh. Eight. Eight. We've got half of them now. Eight. Whoops, don't want that. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> this game is so jank. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. And thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Good, so that should be it. That should be all we need. All of them should be on here. Let's just make sure. What is this? Uh, oh, actually, do, we do need five of these splitters too, don't we? So let's go ahead and get five splitters. Once they go right, we need right splitters. Two. Three. And four. And five. Now let's get this one up here. Very nice. We'll pay that 7,000 bucks. That's good. Why won't this stick? Okay, good. Everything is cooperating. I'm not going to tip the lady. How much time do I have on the save? About eight hours now. You should play Satisfactory if you like this game. I will end up playing Satisfactory. I definitely will. I do love this game, and I love the genre that Satisfactory also puts itself in, so I definitely will be doing that. But probably not anytime soon. I will get to the spookers. I'll try and get through the game list that I have on the Discord about as fast as I can. While still also trying to get 100% in all of the games because it bothers me personally if I don't. So I'll definitely do that. I'll definitely do that. Sorry, I was too busy counting. I wasn't paying attention to chat. Yeah, Satisfactory looks really, really cool. Uh, so does Factorio. That one also looks really, really cool. It's a different kind of style, but looks fine nonetheless. Uh, let's get this cart out here. We should probably do the lifts first, and then we will worry about the actual splitters. Because these are tall and we can't really see anything. Let's go ahead and drop that there. And another one can go right here. And we need another one right down. Whoops, not there. Right there, very good. All true. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm, as it currently stands, I'm probably going to be binging Hydroneer. As soon as I can kind of like get a little bit too desensitized to horror. I'll just kind of have this as my go-to relaxing game after a really, really... Harrowing stream, I suppose. Right, uh, another one here. I'm having to pixel hunt through this dirt now, which is not amazing. We should probably start digging out the dirt that's covering the belt so we can actually get out of here. Good, we unstuck ourselves. Now let's look for a pickaxe. Hopefully there's one around the place. I don't really care what kind it is. It should just be one. What's this, pickaxe? Yes, it's a crap tier one, but exactly what we need regardless. Until you get all 72 achievements. What, in this game? I probably could get 72 achievements in this game. We've already maybe got like 20 of them. And we've only been playing a little bit. Retrospectively, compared to how much content is actually in the game. Also, we haven't seen the DLC area at all. And I imagine there's going to be a lot of achievements tied to that. But I will be 100%ing this game. I definitely want to do that. that. It's something I've never done before. And I've put a lot of hours into this game. Okay, uh, we can go down here. Okay, that looks like pretty good egress for ourselves. Whoops, fell off the side and almost got stuck, but we are fine. Let's go ahead and start dropping these down here it's a little bit better. I want to angle it a little bit down south. And we've got a pixel hunt for this one. 
Uh, let's get the cart all the way downstairs so that we can kind of work our way upwards instead of faffing around with these pipes because these pipes are really in the way of everything. All right, here we are. I'm going to drop this in the in the dirt, in the, oil, in the soil, in the dirt. Uh, we're going to put that there. And we're going to put this one here. Very nice. And we're going to keep on going up here. We can probably call this a stairway to heaven at this point. You know, because uh, down here is definitely hell. Got to be said, it's definitely a, a, some kind of fresh hell down here. Uh, one more here. Once you get all the main automation you want done, just check the achievements and start the cleanup. Yeah, that's probably what I am actually going to be doing. There's going to be a lot of them, I think, tied to the quests that NPCs give out. Right, good. We've done all that. Now we'll start the actual sorting itself. We probably need to create a little area for us to maintain the uh, drills as well. Whoa, that was close. We almost just fell in the wrong hole because it was auto-saving. Thanks, game. Uh, I'll drop this right here, and let's start dropping them on the pipes. One right here. Very good. Uh, let's not have it so far away from us in case we misclick. One here, one here, and one right here. Now, we're not going to do buckets. Buckets are a terrible idea. What we are going to be doing is just setting up a platform so we can access auto smelters, and then we're also going to stick some auto smelters up there. So let's go ahead and start putting these bricks down here that I already purchased in advance. I think we need to flip it upside down. Good. And we'll start chucking them exactly where we need them. Maybe like in the maintenance areas as well. Because we're going to need some gem cutters and everything like that too. Some hook centralizers. We're going to need a bunch of really, really cool stuff. Whoops, that's not cash money. Okay, we'll drop that there. Take another one over here. And we will drop this one there. Good. Probably wanted to leave ourselves a bit of room for a workshop as well. So maybe actually we'll... You know, we could probably actually turn this another turn sideways and then put the workshop coming along this side over here. So we're going to need a another left turn, but that's all we're going to need. Let's go ahead and just... Let's just go by one left turn. Oh, we also need some auto smelters as well, so we're actually going to bring the whole truck, I think. Whoops. We have left a uh, big block in the way. That's fine. We need five auto smelters. We're going to need probably another five... Uh, sorters as well if we want to set up a gem sorting system but that one's also going to require some logic circuitry which I don't I'm not really confident in the auto compression of gems which is a mechanic of the game but we probably have to dive into it at some point anyway Boop. there we go Scott's world I'm just confused about what you're working on right now I am setting up uh, tier 2 stuff so the sorting system that we have now is basically going to be the same one as back at Ember Cradle but the machines themselves, they're different. The the second tier of machines, they can get the third tier of ore out of the ground if we stick them at the right place, and we have done. Uh, so we want this to come up and turn around and bend sideways. So we need a left. Just a left as well. Probably actually get a bunch more of these splitters as well. Yeah, we want the rights. Want them split? Yeah, we want them splitting right. We'll get five of them. That is how many gems there are in the game. So that'll completely automate... Uh, the milf sack with it. We don't have to worry about it too much. We could probably also get an additional one in case we start... No, we've already got core stone set up. There are no mm -hmm. more ores in the game. So let's get these. I'm going to turn this here around. We're not going to worry too much about sticking it on like a... Um, a what's a doodle? What are they called? The cart. Mm -hmm. Because we're just going to stick them straight in top side. I think we're just going to plug and play. Three, four, and... Uh, please? Five. That one's too far away. So is this one. Good, so we've got everything. We are also going to need a gem polisher and a hook centralizer, so let's get both of those as well. Whoops, forgot to pay for it. That's embarrassing. Sorry, lady. I just robbed her of a bit of money. Uh, let's get both of these. Right here and here. And whoop, there we go. Excellent. So let's drop these on the back of the truck. And we should be good to go. But we still need some of those smelters. We're going to need a bunch of the smelters. There's also a merger hook here. I don't think we'll worry too much about the merging yet. Okay, let's go just down here. We're going to need five auto smelters and probably also get some gem compressors while we're here. But I, again, I don't know how to automate the gem compression just yet. Uh, let's go ahead and back this in here so it's a little bit easier to get everything on. Also, yes, I'd like you to hammer home. I played Ribbit Deltarune fan game that was suggested. Do not play it until you play Paper Mario, Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. You will be so confused. 
I did see you mention that in the Discord. I, I probably will get to him at some point. Hey, hey, it's me, Edits and Animations. Hello, Edits. How are we doing today? I used the story of Deltarune and Paper Mario as a huge basis. Ah, okay. I didn't realize that all of the uh, Deltarune community was so interconnected with all of these other fan games. What are we after? Smelters, right here. We need five of these things so that we can basically automate all of the ores that we're going to be pulling out of the ground. And then we're not going to worry too much about the sorting system whatsoever. Huh? We need five huh? of these bad boys. And we're probably going to also need a few of the other little luxury accoutrements that kind of synergize well with these, like some scales right here. We already have an auto gem polisher, so we're not going to worry about that too much. We'll also get a construction hammer. Because we're probably going to need one at some point at the MILF's Aquifer. We'll get a lantern. Yep, probably definitely going to get a lantern. Makes the most sense. Nice music. Thanks. It's Wage Wars Soft Album. We'll also get this magnifying glass. And we'll also get a repair kit because it's here and able to be bought. Probably going to be a really, really good idea as well. Ah, Logic Gem Compressor and a lever. So these allow us to compress gems, basically. We could actually just buy them here, honestly. And just get it out of the way, because we can always hook up the logic circuitry later, I think. Let's just do that. Put everything on the back of the truck right here, one by one, because we didn't bring our handy dandy uh, what's my doodle? What was it? Uh, the it was the thing that goes on the back. Mules, mules carry it. A cart, that's it. We're missing our cart. Put our smelter here. Now the smelter can go over here. We're going to build kind of like a really crude workshop, I think, so that we can kind of like start doing quests. That'll be really handy at the Milf's Aquifer, to be honest, because then we can start plugging and playing all of the Cloutium machinery as we go along. So I have a question about what you said on live once. Yeah, go ahead. Ask away. I am an open book. <laughs> what do you need to know? Okay, we drop the hammer off of the side here. Okay, good. Yes. Right. Uh, we've got everything on the back here. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and continue onwards. Getting a little bit of frame drop. Is it true you're bisexual? Yes. Yes, it is true I'm bisexual. However, um, people tend to think of bisexuals as just greedy pieces of garbage. Uh, so I don't really identify as bisexual openly. I identify as demisexual because what's more important to me... I, I couldn't give two hoots about what body somebody is in. So it, it, that takes the sexual part of sexuality completely out of the equation. I am demisexual. I prefer personality all the way. It, it doesn't matter what kind of body somebody's in. Personality all the way. That's what I'm all about. It just so happens to be that the kind of people that I'm really attracted to as a personality have tr usually been quite attractive people physically, which is quite nice. Quite nice indeed. I don't really get teased a lot for it anymore. I used to. Used to get teased for it, but I, uh... You know, it's a different world now. Pretty handy. I think it's cool about it. Being demisexual, I'm pansexual. Pansexual is a, a strange one, isn't it? Because it's a, uh... It's, it's definitely one of those ones that completely ignores the sexual part. It's just pan. Every time. It's just pan. Okay, I'll go ahead and drop this smelter right here. Very good. And this one can also... No, we don't want to put these here. We actually want to kind of hook around the corner here with an elbow pipe, don't we? So let's uh, dismantle the rest of this crap here that we don't want set up. In fact, we probably don't need to do that. We probably just need to kind of plug and play everything that we've already got. Let's go down south and we'll go and grab a delicious, delicious elbow from down here. There might be one uh, floating around in the water, but probably not. No, there's a tea pipe down here. A bunch of straights down here, not terribly interested. Okay, let's go back up top. Same? Yeah, definitely. I think this. Honestly, the thing that bothers me the most is anything that's inherently divisive. And sexual sexuality is no exception. It's inherently divisive. Like, it's, it's based on people's intents and biases, but at the same time, I don't really like limitations or anything like that. Kind of bother me. So I tend to be uh, like the the most lowest common denominator satisfying thing in almost every single circumstance. Sexuality is, again, no exception. Go ahead and whack that there. We'll go ahead and grab this one. We'll put that there. And then we'll start orienting that the right way. We'll start placing it exactly where we need them. One right here. 
kind of funny that we're talking about sexuality at this point because uh, we're trying to work out the orientation of all these puzzle pieces. I like someone for their personality instead of their gender. I recently found out like two months ago. It is a big personal journey for a lot of people, sexuality. And it's one of those ones that I feel a lot of people kind of rush into it. It's I, I like to ignore it. I like to completely ignore any categorizations and just be yourself. And if you end up finding out that, hey, there's actually a word for it, then that is just a, a chef's kiss bonus. That's, that's how I like to live. I, I, I like to live like that. Might be an unpopular opinion, but I like to I like to live like that. It's my favorite way of living. Okay, let's go ahead and whack this pipe right here as well. And we are going to dismantle these uh, heaps of crap as well. Let's go ahead and stick this last sorter right here. That should be everything that we need. So there's iron, gold, there's plautium, there's core stone. And this one here is going to be the garbage electric crystals that we can't ever use in any shape or form. Any useful shape or form. Uh, we're probably going to have to dig out to get the workshop padding down here a little bit less ugly looking, but I think we've pretty much got all of the crude bits that we need anyway, right? This here. This can go right here. No, it can't actually. Oh no, do we need another lift? And then we also kind of need like some stairs to get up onto these pads. Like I'll do it, but it is a little bit annoying. Yeah, I ignored it, but I began to realize two months ago it's a fact I can't ignore and rush it. I probably sound stupid. You never really sound stupid. The only time that people sound stupid with their sexuality is when they're actively kind of like, oh, I don't know what I am, so I'm just going to take the first thing that I see and imprint on it. That's 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 a stupid way of kind of identifying yourself. But it is a, it is a huge personal journey for a lot of people. A lot of people don't want to hear about it. A lot of people don't want to hear about it, especially the people who've already kind of figured it out for themselves. But it is kind of, it's nice. It's nice to kind of have the validation that you're not just completely alone and a little bit strange in the feelings that you have inside of yourself. Right, so these are all going to split off. I think we do actually need another lift. We are going to need another lift. Yeah, and then we're going to put the concrete pads up higher a little bit, I think. Because otherwise we'll just have to get some pickaxes and mine out all of this crap here and that'll be a, really annoying. There's all the dirt's up here anyway. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do exactly that. We'll go and get one more lift, and then we'll go and get two more elbows. Yeah, we've got two more elbows, definitely. Let's move this pad out of the way, and... Whoops. We'll go ahead and get one more lift from the shop. I knew we should have gotten a spear just in case we needed it, but it didn't cross my mind that we would actually want to lift things way above ground here. Because the more sorting system we have above ground, the less machines we'll have above ground, because uh, machines are really inefficient above ground. Okay, let's pop on through. I have a few friends that support me, but I have this one friend that doesn't support, so I've never mentioned it around her. Yeah, some people are just kind of like that. A lot of people probably, yeah, I would estimate, just pulling the statistic out of my ass, around about two-thirds of the world just don't want to hear about anybody else's sexual journey. I would call them neurotypicals, <laughs> to be honest. All of my friends are neurodivergence, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we need money. Here it is. And we are going to dump our money... Down here, let's get a lift with it. And this is all we need. There we go. Great. And we'll dump it on there, as well as grab our money, because I don't trust this lady here with her cancerous feet soaking in these crystals right here to not steal it from out under our nose. I was chatting and YouTube said this feature isn't available right now. That is strange. That is weird, but that's a YouTube thing. I've uh, extensively researched it. YouTube has a couple of bugs in their chat feature. Unfortunately, there's not really much I can do about that. Uh, but at least we're not on Twitch. <laughs> hey, there's always a silver lining. Did we just take the wrong turn? Oh no, I'm lost. Is this Milf's aquifer? It should be. It should be the bridge. Yep, there it is. Okay, good. Come down here and we're golden. We are absolutely golden. Let's uh, park up here. Uh, we're going to need two elbows to filter the lift into, which means we're going to have to reshape everything that we've already done over here but i think that we'll start here we'll start with the piping system there that might be a really really good idea where are they they're over here aren't they in the cart in front of the truck behind the truck here it is okay good if i couldn't had money i would donate you like one of the best streamers ah i'm just i'm just calm enough right 
And it's, I save the screaming and everything like that for when it's actually worth hearing, unlike people like XQC and stuff like that who just spend all of their days screaming at uh, other people's content. Or Hassan Piker. I don't, I don't want to be the people that make me cringe, so I, I kind of like to take a bit of a holistic approach to how I'm doing all of this. Uh, thank you very much, though. Thank you very much for saying so. Uh, words, at this point, words are just as good as money, to be quite honest. I probably will want to make a job out of this someday, but, you know, until then, I'm just happy having fun. And also, I, I'm working towards the ad revenue thing on YouTube, so that'll make a big difference, too. Okay, we'll start whacking these on. I don't know if this is oriented right. It is good. Put that one there, that one there. I hope these are facing the right way, but I don't think there's actually any way of telling. Are they on? Can we maybe see it if it's on? No. And we don't want to turn it on because then it'll dump all the resources on the ground over here. Uh, let's just pick them up and make sure that they actually are facing the right way when we kind of commit to what we're doing here. Okay, that's definitely facing the right way which means all of these are going to face the right way. Very good. Oops. Oh, damn it, bugger. <laughs> ah, man makes plans and God laughs, huh? All right, um, let's see if these are facing the right way. All right, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to place them down again anyway. And one more. Right there. Okay, so we need another bend. I think we did buy one, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we bought another bend. Got to be splitters here. Not really terribly interested in them. This teapot can get out of the truck, for God's sake. Uh, the scales, we'll kind of uh, leave that on the ground over there. Let's start sticking these smelters in the right places. Maybe about here, I would say. And then we'll line them up in sequence. Would be a really good idea. Here, and here, and here, and here. Very cash money. Awesome. Uh, one more of these smelters, and we are done with the ore system that we're kind of working on here. What are your thoughts on Dim Dim Dimtio? Who? Yeah, I'm with uh, edits on this one. Who's 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 Dimtio? That seems impossible to pronounce. That, is that a troll? Are you trolling me? It feels like a troll. <laughs> I caught you out, Scott. I caught you out. You troll. Okay, let's drop these here, and we'll create kind of like the workshop that we want, just sticking out this way as well. We can go back into town. We get some staircases, and we'll just uh, easily hook those on so that we don't have to jump onto these platforms every time we want to work on something. Might be a good idea. We also kind of want to extend this out a little bit further that way as well, so we can get the gem sorting system functioning too. There, there, another one over here. Almost fell in Satan's butthole again. Man, that is a long drop, isn't it? That's messy. Dementio, he's the Paper Mario final boss mentioned on Discord earlier. I have no idea who that is. If that's the flower guy you posted on there, his soundtrack slaps. But other than that, I've got no idea. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, knock down here so that we can repair these machines because they're not actually creating any ore for us right now. There and there. Let's leave this down here. Okay, good. We've actually set this up really, really well. I kind of I want to pat myself on the back for that. Excellent. Everything's easier to get to. We just kind of like need to stick them all into their own little spots. Let's pick this up and stick it over here. Good. Let's put our uh, scales down too. Maybe like, maybe over here. No, that's our entrance. We don't want to do that. Maybe like here, possibly. That's good. I like that. Right. So we've got all five ores accounted for. Now we are going to need the gem sorting system, which might be a little bit more fiddly, but we do have all of these um, gem items here. Whoops, I actually wanted to turn that around. Uh, we still need to kind of hook in some more pipes, though. So let's go ahead and do that. One here. Good. One over here. We're going to need five of these pipes, plus one to kind of separate where we can see our gems and where we can see our ores, because there's not really anything else that'll be piped out of the ground from this point onwards. Right, we've got another one of these. Let's put this one over here. We need some straight pipes. There are actually some down south, so I'm going to go down south and try and... Get those ones. We'll use those ones first before we start using the ones on the back of the cart. Good. And here's one. Good. Let's unstuck ourselves and stick it onto the system that we're working on here. Very good. Right there. Good. And back down I go. Whoops. I keep going to unstuck every time I want to fall down the hole. There we go. Good. We are down south. 
And we're in a good place. Now it's the image of the little dude you said slaps to earlier. No, no, no. That was that was not an image. That I was quoting the um the song that somebody posted. That slapped. I I don't know what you're talking about, to be quite honest. I don't have Discord, so I don't know who that is. Uh, Discord's free, by the way. You're welcome to join my Discord at any time. There's a, a small community of us there. You'll find a link to it in the description of this video, too. It's not like it's hidden or anything like that. And there's uh, there's no paywall or anything like that, either. One, two, another three of them, I think. One here. Go over here. Oop. And I'm not going to go down south anymore. I'm just going to get the pipes, I think, from the back of the trailer. Oh, where's the strays? There they are. Back in the corner. Right, we need two of these right here. I'm confused, lol. Uh, in the door, Discord, I reacted the slaps to the little song that somebody posted. I think somebody said it was a boss theme song. That slapped. I don't have my phone number because my phone is broken so I can't use Discord. Do you need a phone number to use Discord? I don't think I had to sign up with my phone number. I think I used an email. Or I used nothing. Sucks to be Discord. I honestly, I don't see why we've got this fifth splitter. If there's only five gems, then nothing should be falling off the edge here. Whoops. Oh well. Okay, let's go and get a bucket from somewhere. And we'll go ahead and get one of each of the ores. Anything in here? No, good. Let's go and fall down Satan's butthole right here. Whee! Nice. And we're down. Excellent. Let's uh, drop this right here. Boop. Uh, this is core stone. That's the good tier ore. This is crap right here. It's shard. There's some gold. I think there's some iron right there. Is that iron? Yep, there's some iron. Now we need clautium as well. What the hell? Oh, it wouldn't actually seat in the bucket. Oh, man. That's okay. We'll just drop them back in. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, that hurts so bad. <laughs> Everything's gone wrong. Oh, I hate that so much. Okay, now we can find the core stone. Oh, there's no core stone here. There's no goddamn core stone down here. We need to turn this thing off. We need to turn it off. Is the inner core stone over here? Maybe, hopefully. Not core stone. Ah, uh, clautium. We need clautium. I don't see any clautium. What's this? It's gold. Not interested. That's a gem right there. What's this? Is that clautium? I'm pixel hunting. Oh, it is actually clautium. Wonderful. <sighs> okay, this looks like a future Yinsen mess uh, to clean up, to be quite honest. So let's take <laughs> one of these gems and go up top. <laughs> Oh, hi there, uh, Gunner. How are we today? Some servers require phone numbers for verification. You might have that setting enabled, good sir. Maybe. 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 Conveyor takes priority when dropping you. You're telling me. Christ, what have I done? I know. <laughs> oh, uh, we're basically about to finish the sorting system, and we're probably going to have to go back up, back down, and uh, kind of pick all of those ores up by hand at this point. What happened to the bend that I'm pretty sure we actually already bought. This uh, one that goes left, a left bend. I'm sure we bought one, didn't we? What's this? Yeah, left conveyor. So this one, go right on the end right there. And the conveyors are now completely piped in, except for the obvious one down at the bottom. Let's get out of that furnace because it's burning my feet. Ouch, that hurt lots. No, okay. We're going to need some better access up here. Let's just go ahead and put in some temporary kind of some temporary egress. I think we'll just stack a couple of these on top of each other and then we'll jump up on top. Right, one, two, maybe like move this this way. One, yeah, good, okay. We only just made it on top of them. Good, so let's get the iron first. I'll do it in order of rarity with the kind of most useful ones being at the start and this crap one being right at the far end over here. Yuck, this thing sucks. One of these is backwards. One of these things is not like the other. Yep, here we go. Oh no, are these all facing the wrong way? Oh, they were. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, 
are you actually crying right now? No, I, wa I wasn't crying, but I know it's going to take ages to fix that little boo-boo that we made down south. <laughs> like, it might even take, um, uh, uh, possibly, the better part of a billion years, maybe? Might take a billion years. It's just my estimate, though. All right, let's get the gold ore next. Uh, right there. It's the second rarest. Plautium is the third rarest. We'll put that right here. Good. And this one right here. Four stone. Wonderful. And we'll drop that right there. Right, so that's that. We also need some gemstones as well. And we need to put the uh, gem polisher on here too before we forget to. Otherwise, we will lose all of our gems off the edge of the platform there. See if you can place the conveyor with the ore still there. Maybe the problem is still slightly manageable. I'm just going to get a magnet on a stick. I think that's going to be the best way. And these centralizer, which probably actually put down south, probably about as close to the beginning of the conveyor system we've got here as we can muster. Like maybe all the way down here. Go all the way down here. We'll follow all of these conveyors. Hopefully, let's go through or not. Yep, there we go. And I'll stick it here. So that they're centralized the whole way through, which minimizes the risk of any of them getting stuck. Okay, that should be good. We could potentially turn it on now. I think we should turn it on now. We'll go get a magnet on a stick. Oh, no, we need the gemstones as well. So let's actually go ahead and... We'll take our quad back to Ember Cradle because we know we've got one of every gemstone back over there. We'll go ahead and do that. The lag will be unreal. Yeah, the lag was unreal as soon as we moved the conveyor. <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, we're a little bit stuck. We're trying to drive over our bed, but it's not right. It's not taken. Uh, okay, we unhooked ourselves from our camping bed. A little bit strange. And after we get all these gems, the sorting system is completely set up. We can start working on quests at this point. Damn, this thing is awful to handle, isn't it? <laughs> it's like fast, but it carries momentum sideways every time you make a turn. As if it's... As if it weighs a billion tons. I don't know why it's doing this. Whoa! Whoa! This bridge is our new horrible, horrible enemy. All right, we almost flipped our quad. Probably would have broken ourselves too. Won't you be able to grab the ores you have on the sorter with the magnet? Yes, but we don't want to grab it on the sorter. We actually want them grabbed instead on the uh, conveyor belt. Oh no. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh, poos. Uh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Please stop. <laughs> stop with the frame drop. Uh, we got to put this right here. Oh, that was close. Will this go in? Yeah, it's good enough. Okay. Yuck. Yuck. Okay. Yuck. Got a little bit of frame drop with this bucket right here. That is probably a really good time to get ourselves a gym compressor. Okay, good. The car is a little... Okay, there's a little bit of lag, but do consider that that's this bucket is like 10 hours worth of ore generation. I said, won't you? I mean, like, unintentionally? Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. I will. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. It won't work like that. We basically use the ore magnet to centralize everything onto the magnet, and then we just drop it on the belt. And then the belt does everything else. Oh, the lag is actually affecting the quad bike's wheels. Can we see that? It's like dipping in and out of the dirt. The the road. That's so wacky. Oh no. We're going to have to drop this whole bucket on the sorting system. I think. Might be a good idea. Okay. Uh, little bit of... Sorry, I said a little bit of, and I didn't mean that. I mean, there's a lot of lag happening with this bucket right here. We probably want to get rid of it. As fast as we, po <laughs> as fast as we possibly can. All right, let's go ahead and drop it here. Or we could crash the game. All right, good. That's good enough for me. Uh, let's take this big ruby. I think we'll order these in order of rarity as well. I think that the ruby is kind of like third tier. I know that the green ones are just crappy tier ones. So let's drop that there. Sapphires are tier twos. And there should be onyx and something else. Maybe a yellow one. Where the hell would I find an onyx in this pile of garbage? I don't see any. Oh, no. Oh, there's one. Okay, there's one. Nope, that's a sapphire. Get that out of the way. It's this one right here. Onyx. Good. So, I'm not sure if there's going to be one more 
There might be one more. I don't remember. Maybe there is. I thought there was like a yellow one, but maybe there actually isn't. Once I get my phone fixed, I'll join your Discord server. Late Game Hydrogenair should be a veritable PC test. I did just get a 4070 Ti graphics card. So hopefully it should really keep up. But uh, I think the issue is just like accumulating all of this crap, right? That's the main issue with the game. All right, let's go ahead and just drop this. We don't need to put it ahead of the gem polisher. It's literally not necessary because it's already polished. Oh no. I think we've crashed the game. I think we should have just thrown this bucket into the ocean and never looked at it again. Uh oh. <laughs> oh! Progress! Whoa! It's an, it's an egg of jewels! It, we've literally just created a Fabergé egg. Good grief! They all unanchor at once. Yep. You should have done it at time. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They're going to, um, they're going to stick to the conveyor belt and they're basically going to stay there until we, uh, no, don't go off the side. Okay. We only lost a couple, actually. That's fine. Let's go ahead and drop that down there. And I think now we should get the logic compressors. And I'm set. where the hell did we put them? We did buy logic compressors, didn't we? Or maybe we didn't. Okay. Let's get back into here. Actually, there's a magnifying glass back here that we're going to grab. And we're going to leave this in the workshop. Right here. Good. And maybe the builder's hammer as well if we have this. Yep, there it is. And the lantern too, we are going to leave on the workshop as well. Right here. Lantern. Let's go ahead and light that up. Excellent. Uh, there's also a cloudium ingot here. Probably actually just drop this in where we have the Cloutium, which is this one. Is it that? Yes, it's this one right here. Boop. There we go. And we'll also drop in the iron anger because we don't necessarily want to carry around heaps and heaps of iron as well. Boop. There we go. Okay, back to town. We'll go and get the gem compressors because obviously we clearly need them. Funny how you're just casually having nuclear bomb in the back of the truck. It's my, um... It's my contingency plan in case someone steals old old lofty here. <laughs> if someone steals it, we've got a uh, we've got a way of you know kind of getting revenge. What happened to the lucky cloudium? It's on display back at Ember Cradle inside of our house that we built. It still exists. It's still there. The conveyors not interested. What are we here for? Compressors. We're up the we're going for the logic compressors. I'll back that in there for the ease of access. Go ahead and drop this bad boy there. Hey, Hello there, sir. Do you own this establishment? Good, sir. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, we need five of these bad boys right here. Logic gem compressors. I think we're just going to have to deal with, like, the, hey, the lever on the back. I'm not too worried about getting it to just compress every time something goes in it. Because eventually we're going to have so many gems that whenever it compresses, it's going to lock out more gems from getting in there, they'll just knock onto the floor and that'll create lag over time. A lot of lag over time. I oh, will grab five of those bad boys. No, maybe we will just kind of pipe them in through a single circuit. Maybe that would be a good idea, actually. Okay, let's buy these and then we'll go over to the Logic Gate store so that we can buy ourselves a few pieces of circuitry to drop these bad boys into. I think they also need water access as well, which we have from the sorting system. So it's not so bad. We can just kind of leech in from that and extend it a little bit with a single elbow, a T-junction, and also a trusty series of straights. Uh, do we get our money? No, we did not. Whoops, that was close. Almost just left without our $138,000. Great. Excuse me, sir. I just need to get past you here. Very good. Uh, let's go ahead and push up here. I know it's a little bit nighttime looking, but it should be fine. We can basically see everything anyway. Get it? I'm so broke I can't even afford hydrogen here. Oh, that sucks. That's okay. Games are kind of expensive. Everybody I know waits for essentially Steam Summer Sale, and they play the really, really kind of tried and true games that just have a long, long playtime on them. Like Elden Ring is probably the most recent one that I can name. I've got a friend who's dumped over 2,000 hours into it. I bet we'll see him later, too. 
Okay, uh, let's get some T cables so that we can set up a single circuit. Just one of these, another one of these, three, and four, and five. We probably don't need five. We only need four, actually, and a couple of elbows. An elbow wire right there, elbow wire right here. We'll get a straight in case we need to worry about maintenance, and we'll also get one single lever, because we are not going to be uh, using multiple levers. Do we also want one of these things that kind of like repeatedly makes them bang on and off? I'm going to get one just in case. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Let's see if that actually does automate the this system. We didn't pay for it. <laughs> we didn't pay for anything that we just got. Whoops. That's okay. I'll back the track up into it. A good, a good position to get things in. Okay. One. Whoops. Or not. One T-junction, we need four of these. Two, three, four, two elbows, two straights, or one straight. Mm -hmm. Now we'll get two straights, just to be sure. Don't you dip. Don't you dip. And also a logic lever, and we'll go ahead and get the... What was it? This thing right here. The flip-flop hook. I got it for free by being a winner and being a long-time Yinsen viewer. That is basically how he got the key as well. Very, very, very astute of you there, Scott's World. I have more hours on Subnautica than I have on 20 of my Steam games combined. I've probably got more hours on Team Fortress 2 than most of my Steam games combined. Gotta be said. I played a lot of Team Fortress 2 when, when I was younger. Buy it. It was strangely cheap. Did we miss anything? I think we I did. I tried to taste logic before. The results were shocking. Shame on you, lady. That is a terrible joke. Shame on her. <sighs> Pay for the items? Oh, yeah, I, I, I did it. What, you get free games? Yeah, I got a few uh, keys for the game. I'm going to do a giveaway next time I play this because I haven't set it up now. I need a channel in my Discord. Oh, I just got an achievement for adding 25 NPCs with vehicles. That's funny. Uh, I'm going to set up a channel in my Discord called Giveaways, and basically the premise will be I'll be doing something on YouTube, I'll be playing a game, and if I've got a free key to give away for the game, which uh, developers just seem to keep giving me, which is pretty cool just for being a streamer, um, I'll tell you how to get the game. You can enter on that Discord server, and you should be able to get it DM'd if you win. So that's basically how it's going to work. I haven't done it yet. Okay, uh, Logic Staff needs to go needs to get piped in from the side it's kind of weird let's get piped in from back here but also logic cables can only go there which means none of these can actually run sequentially side by side that's really annoying actually uh let's go ahead and kind of stagger out these sorting systems then i suppose because what we have doesn't work anymore oh i didn't realize the gems actually stayed on top of them that's handy we don't want this one on there because there's nothing on it, I think. Yep, that's correct. My phone's being fixed and I'm getting it back in August. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know when I'm going to actually set up the uh, the giveaways channel, but it'll be there later, later on the year. Right now, you don't have the Discord in the stream description. Oh, that's weird. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and fix that if I possibly can. I'll edit this bad boy. Oh. My stream, my streaming software overwrote it. Okay. That's good to know, actually. Uh, now I know that that happens. I will highlight it, and I will copy it, and I will paste it. Boop. There we go. And it's in the description. There we go. Everyone can access it. Nice. Okay, so we need two more straight pipes, and that should be it. That should be it for the sorting system. One here, good. I'm just gonna drop it over here so we can <laughs> plug them in sequentially. We'll leapfrog them over. It's a Payday 2 strategy that I learned years and years ago. Uh, good, that goes there. And this one goes here. Unless we want to put an elbow here and then loop it downwards so that we can plug into all of these. Because if we have low water pressure, they'll kind of trigger slowly, which would be ideal. 
basically. We, we want these to go slowly. We don't really want them to go like the clappers. Okay, this one goes here. Probably also going to need some funnels so that we don't drop any of the any of the gems all over the place as well. But do we want a T-junction like right maybe here? Let's put a T-junction here. Uh, we'll put this back in the cart. Then we'll just grab another T-junction. There we go. And we'll grab this one that's not in the cart already. And we'll tee this into all of the other machines that we are going to set up down here. We'll probably need another T-junction. We're going to need a bunch of T-junctions, actually. Let's just bring the cart over here, because we know we're going to need it. And here we go! Very good. So, we need some T's. One right here can loop into this one from beneath, like that. Who's? We actually need this to go maybe under this one instead as a T-junction, rather than this one being a straight. Good, and we'll put this one down there. This one could be the straight, and we'll whack this one right there. I'm pretty sure there is a gem on top of it. Yep, a ruby. I think this is supposed to be the sapphire one, right? Yep, oh, it can't actually be there anyway, because this is right next to another one of these, so these won't plug in very well. They don't play nice. We've got to put the T over here. It's getting un unusually complex. Uh, this one goes here. This goes here. We need to put this one there. So that is sequential. Good. And we still need another one at the end here to plug in the last sorter. This one's got the onyx on it. Very good. Okay, done. Done, done, done. Scott's Will, what do you have left to do for this phase of automation? Uh, basically just these gems right here, and then the whole sorting system for this entire region is done. Interesting game decisions you have. Yeah, I've got... We basically have to plan it here, because this is going to be a logic circuit input, which is separate from the back, which has to be water. So I'm going to loop in the water at the back here, and at the front we're going to kind of have some logic cables going side to side. We might even have to move these concrete pads back one, so we can maybe loop the logic beneath all of these items. Because they can't go in a line. Unless we have T-pipes coming down and elbowing into the side of here. Which would just look silly. No, it wouldn't. That'll look sick. Let's have the logic going around the back. Logic goes around back. We'll save the logic. That's actually an ideal hole to pipe into as well. So this one here is going to have to be a... Oh no, that's the one with all the gems on it. Uh, question, what's the point of the last splitter if nothing will be going through it all anyways? Uh, no idea. No idea. I thought that maybe uh, uh, there would be kind of like more things added in the future of the game, but I think with the DLC being added that we can kind of safely say, hey, all of the ores are actually in the game. I hate that. I hate that so much. What we just did there, I absolutely hate everything about that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh well, we've got like a nice little Scrooge McDuck bed right here, actually. We could probably just get our camping bed and stick it on top of here. All right, we have an elbow right here. Let's pipe this in like, kind of like, like this, and we'll get another couple of elbows here. And uh, that one doesn't have to be a T. I'm not going to worry about that one too much. That one can just. Whoops! I picked up the whole pad for some reason. <laughs> we'll put that one here. We've actually made an enormous mess of this entire map, but we aren't doing so bad. We need way more elbows. We need so many more elbows. This one has to be a T, right here. This one has to be a T. It is a T. Don't know why I just took it off. Whoops. Let's go ahead and stick that there. Uh, I should probably tell everybody, for the sake of disclosure, I did not sleep well last night. And it probably is showing right here, right? Like, Pastor, why not just use a normal conveyor? You gotta go get the magnet. Yeah, I do have to get the magnet now. I also have to get a way of getting all of these onto the sorting system, too. Like a path. Because I'm going to have to carry this thing with all of the lag that it's going to come with up here, which may not be ideal. Okie dokie. So we do need a bunch more elbows. We've got a T-pipe that we can just whack in here. And we still need one more T-junction right here to pipe into the last sorter that we have. 
Don't know why we've got this last water, but again, if anything fails to like cut or anything like that, uh, we'll be able to drop it into a bucket of some sort. And then we can just stick that bucket back onto the sorting system uh, like we have just here. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a sleep. We'll have to place our bed to do so. Right there. Whoops. We'll do a wee sleep right here. Can you make a funnel? Yes, you can make a funnel, but they're a little bit fiddly. Sometimes when you bounce things off of a funnel, it'll actually knock it out of the direction it would have gone into. All right, wonderful. Uh, let's take our lamp and just kind of create a, a visual deterrent for going over here by dropping this in all of the gems. <laughs> oh my god! Screenshot. I took a screenshot of that. Okay, we need a lot of elbows. Let's go get some elbows. We're going to take our cart and we want to probably put it in the back of the truck, right? Because we've got heaps of money. It doesn't really matter how much money we spend at this point. There. Done. Come over here. Ah, oh, no, everything's gone wrong. I do kind of like having gems all over the floor, though. It is very bougie. Maybe we should, like, set up a, a factory just to drop gems all over the floor. Polish gems. Like, dump it on a bed or something like that. Maybe that'd be cool. Uh, we want some pipes, so we want to go over here. <laughs> and we're coming out. We are getting the... What's my doodle back on our back right here? We need elbows, which are down underneath the table. So we're probably going to drop this thing a little bit further away. And then we'll just grab and drop, I think. See if we can put, put them on the corner again. That was a good place. Not. Maybe not. Please. Please. Okay. Allow me. Allow me this luxury. No. No. No luxury. Only pain. Okay, let's try and just like... Oh, perfect. That's exactly what we want. One, two. Let's get uh, maybe four billion. Maybe four billion of these would actually be a really good idea because we seem to need lots and lots of elbows. Elbows allow us diagonals, essentially. Otherwise, we just lose pressure by wasting T-pipes and such. But the lag, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We can sleep in the lag. We can sleep in all of the lag that we generate with the factory that dumps polished gems onto our bed. You don't like that? Imagine if they just let you make your own pipes with iron. Ah, uh, pipe, iron pipes are cheap enough. These ones kind of getting up there. Core stone, the tier three one, that's really hard to come by. We're going to need to do a, a lot of quests to kind of get enough of those to make even a single circuit. In fact, while we're here, we could probably actually go up to the tier three guild store and see how much they actually cost. Because we are going to start doing some quests after we have this sorting system fully set up. And we're going to drop a bunch of these up here. I don't know how many we've got so far, but honestly, I don't think there's enough to be grabbed. Elbows are so handy. Okay, I think that's enough. Uh, we dropped two, which is probably actually ideal. Okay, they're just not going to sit on the, on the platform. Let's buy these instead of robbing the store again. Clean up the store by picking these up where we grab our money. And we'll drop this here. And it's only 9,000 buckery booze. That's pretty, pretty cheap. Compared to the scale of wealth that we have. Excellent. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with what we've got so far. I'm happy that we dropped all of our... <laughs> I'm happy that we dropped all of our gems all over the floor back at base. And I cannot wait to uh, pick all of them up with the magnet on a stick, which I should probably buy before I forget. Let's do that right now. So we don't have to come back here for it. We'll grab this money from under the cart. Uh, no, thank you, sir. Not interested. Here it is. Magnet on a stick. God, this thing is jank as well. Does it work on the money? Oh, it kind of does, actually. Great, let's pull this back to the truck over here. Or we could drop it halfway through. That is also an option that we could probably engage in. Very nice. And we are fine. We are stellar, actually. Let's back it all the way up home. We'll jackknife onto this road right here, I think. We'll do a jackknife right here. Woo! Uh, almost got it. I think I cancelled the jackknife way too early. Or we could just hit everything else. Oh no, the game is loading in every... What the hell? My computer was downloading a game in the background that I didn't ask it to. In fact, I specifically went out of my way to pause the download so that the stream would... <sighs> Steam. Steam. It's Gaben. Gaben, fix your Steam. 
Okay, let's grab this and we'll come over here with all of our brand new elbows. And we should be absolutely A-OK. -okay. All right, we'll pipe this one in right here. It's backwards. There we go. Perfect. And we need to pipe it in sideways. Kind of like this. That, right there. Or does it need to go... No, it needs to go in like this. Perfect. That one there. So that one's now powered. This one here is right for the the plugging. So let's go ahead and do that. They're probably all on the back of the truck, right? Playing Genshin Impact right now. Is it good? I've heard a lot of people talk about it, but none of them have actually told me if it's good or bad. They just kind of talk about it as if it's a, uh, a trade secret to know whether or not the game sucks or if it's really, really good. I imagine it's good if people are playing it. Why do I need to announce that? Why do, oh, why does Avocado need to announce it? Uh, probably just to, just to let us know what they're doing in the background. Yeah, people say it's a game for gays, but it's not. Really? Well, you probably could have figured out that you were pansexual a lot earlier if, uh, if you'd known that, right? Okay, we'll, uh, go ahead and we'll plug the rest of the workshop down here. That's upside down. Uh, this is not, though. Good. And we want some over here. Excellent. And I'm going to start plugging in over here. Uh -huh. Everything's blocked. Everything's blocked. Damn it. Okay, we'll move all of this stuff out of the way, and we'll also move these two pipes out of the way by putting them back onto this cart. Boop. There we go. One and two. Right here. Boop. There we go. Great. So we need a bucket at the end here, but other than that, it should be more or less set up. So we need some logic cables. Look at all of the coins here. I love this. I huh? actually, I don't know why, but I actually love this. This is amazing. Take another screenshot of that. I'm going to make that my wallpaper. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and start planting these where they, before we could get blocked off by Satan's butthole here. Uh, we need a pickaxe of some sort. Uh, we'll get to the logic first, I think. We'll just set up the sorting system and then we'll work on uh, picking Satan's butthole for him. Good luck wasting your life savings playing to, uh, trying to play that gacha game. Is it a gacha game? I suppose most games these days are gacha games, aren't they? I don't know why I have this last logic gem compressor, because we don't actually need it, do we? We've got all four gems. It might be another tier of gem. I actually don't know. I haven't gotten this far in the game before. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, uh, we've got some logic cables. I'm thinking that we could have the lever here, right? Elbowed in from... Oh, we need lots of elbows, actually. That's what we're going to need. We're going to need a lot of elbows. Okay, let's just take these off the truck so we actually know what we've got to work with. Huh? Huh? Uh, so, we need this elbow right here. We are going to line this one... Yeah, so these pipes are kind of blocking the way. I've just found a fix for it. I know exactly how we're going to fix that. We're going to turn it that orientation instead. And then we're going to pipe in from the side rather than underneath. Uh, this way right here. Get this pipe, stick it here. Grab this pipe, stick it here. Grab this pipe, stick it here. And now we've got clear egress for all of our materials to be powered. There, one right here. Excellent. That's all powered. And now we can run some logic cables around the back of them. And just kind of like a very, very crude sequence, I think. Let's go ahead and turn that sideways. And we'll put close towards us if we can. Or not. Okay. Cooperate, please. Or not. <laughs> I beg you. Okay, good. So this last one here can be a T-junction. And then after that, we kind of want this elbow to face in this way. So that we can stick the lever on it. And no. No. We actually do not want to do that, do we? Instead, we want to... We need uh, the hook to go on the end here. So I'm actually thinking maybe... Uh, we'll leave this where it was, and then we'll kind of like have a straight come on off here. And then we'll have a lever that hooks onto that from an elbow. Got a T-junction right here. So this is going to power one of the machines. Uh, right there. Very good. The last one is powered. The Onyx is powered. Let's grab everything else that we can. Kind of scavenge what we can off of what we are using. 
let's put this one right there. Good. And then we're going to stick an elbow piping around there so that we can lever it while also simultaneously looking at all of the machines, I think. Okay. You just did a good run this time because you didn't skip a point of progression. Two. Got to keep a guy alive to prevent the curse. Okay. That was hard to read. Uh, again, didn't sleep well last night, so kind of, that's why. Uh, let's actually not stick the lever right in front of this machine right here. Let's actually hang it back a little bit with a couple of straights. Put that there, and we'll hook this elbow on like that. And this elbow can hook on to the other side here like so. Then we're going to have the lever on there. So let's go find what other cables we need before we go and actually purchase more. This is the lever. Perfect. Uh, let's just whack this onto the circuit right here. Upside down. There we go. Done. And what else have we got? I think that's a straight and... Oh, no. It's two T-junctions. So we're going to need a few more straights. going to need a few more straights. Uh, that's backwards. Good. Come around here and we'll get this final T-junction. pretty sure it's T-junction. It is a T-junction. It's not the final one either. I think we've actually got more of them. And we're not really going to kind of poke around back here unless it's for maintenance. So let's not really keep a clear path to get back here. We can just walk around there every time we need to actually fix something. All right, one of these. Last T-junction. Then we're going to need, by my count, three straights. That should not be a T-junction. That should actually instead be a... Elbow. Should be an elbow. So we need one elbow and three straights. One elbow, three straights. Oop, drop that there. We go back into town. One elbow, three straights. You should get the magnet stick and hocus pocus the polished gems. I will when the actual conveyor system is up and running, because if I just drop it back onto the conveyor, it'll just lag spike again when we turn that bad boy on. Uh, oh no. Car's out of water. Damn, we probably should have set up that... Oh, that refueling depot already. We gotta go back, get a bucket, we gotta fill it up with water, and then we gotta refuel the truck. Damn. And the ores you forgot about? I haven't forgotten about them. I'm actively ignoring them. I'm actively ignoring all of the ores that have scattered all over the floor inside. Uh, oh, this is already full of water. Great. You could probably actually just put a, a drip or a, a T-junction somewhere around here, and then just keep a, a bucket under it to keep the... Uh, a bucket of water handy for the fuel, right? Might be a really, really good idea. But at the same time, not terribly worried about it. Alright, uh, we are almost back at the truck. Here we are. We are back at the truck. Let's drop this bad boy into the uh, womb. The the stomach? The, the guzzling throat? Probably actually more like the guzzling throat. Damn it, I had it and I overshot the jump. Let's try to jump onto this higher right here, actually. Might be the best way up. Why do they make these trucks just... Just high enough for you to not be able to access what you need to be able to access. I don't want to also just dump water, because if we miss, we have to go get more. Oh, here we go. Got it. Whoa, that was clutch. And we have fuel. Great. Is the bucket on? Yes, good. All right, so we need four straights and an elbow, right? That's what we needed. Intake pipe. Are you able to crouch jump? No, you are not. You're not able to crouch jump. You're not even able to jump while you're crouching. Uh, we need logic, which is up this way. If we just follow the neon sign, which indicates that something is powered. Oh, we also didn't check out those core stone pipes, did we? We want to do that while we're here. Right, uh, probably, probably just going to back them up onto the truck. No, it'll just, uh, put them straight on the sail floor right here. One, two, three, and four. And we also need one elbow right here. Boop, there we go. And let's get our 128,000 buckery booze. We're going to pay 420. Nice! Nice! Maybe I'll screenshot that as well. Yeah? Do we want a screenshot of this? Of 420? I think we want a screenshot of 420. Make a good thumbnail for, for the future. Okay, let's go ahead and buy it. We'll put our money on the truck. And then... We will also back the truck up so we can better put in these pipes. And around it comes. And here it goes. This is what we need. And we're in the back. Good, because we were going backwards. Nope. No! Oh, my God. The controls in this game are so jank. How have I not got the hang of them yet? Uh, put that one there. Put that one there. 
put that one there, put that one there, and we are done here. Let's go check out the core stone really quickly, just out of interest. Then we'll get that sword system back up and running. I think it's over here. That's the DLC area. This might be it here. Let's check it out. Here we go, core stone stuff. So this is guild tokens for the prospecting guild. These cost a lot, believe it or not. Um, I think a really, really good quest will reward you around about 160 tokens. And one of these intake pipes costs almost 700 tokens, which is pretty crazy. Remember the magnet stick? Try and buy that. I already bought it. We already bought the magnet stick. Oh my god, those are so expensive, actually. And there's also some other prospecting stuff over here. Like, uh, what? Finds nearby ore veins. Piss off it does. There's a rake that flattens out some of the soil. There's a good pickaxe here. There's a good shovel. We actually do need this pickaxe eventually so that we can start setting up some of the uh, tier 3 machinery down in the MILF's aquifer that we already have. Because I did find a little tier 3 zone. We're definitely going to set up down there at some point. Uh, let's see what these people want. Uh, we probably don't actually want to talk to the people who are walking around, to be quite honest. Because if we lose them, might not be a great thing. Unless we just keep a map on us at all times, because they always have the, the quests on them. But I think we'll go and do the King's Quest, which is basically just going to be craft a bunch of swords and daggers, which we can do, that's fine. Right, let's come up here. I'm going to do a sleep real quick in the laggy spike zone. We just... <laughs> And a mouthful of ass, Delicious. A delicious... A, a breakfast of champions. Our own ass. That's what we ate. Yum yum. <laughs> oh, fragrant. And high in fiber. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's uh, get these one by one. One by one. We'll set them up just down here. Yep, that can go there. We've almost got the whole circuit set up, by the, by the way. We'll put this flip-flop hook just on this arm right here, I think. That's sideways. Let's face it inwards, so that when we hit the lever, we know. No? Nothing? Uh, they all closed. Okay, that's open. That's closed. This doesn't flip-flop at all. <laughs> it doesn't do what we're asking it to do. All right. I think we may have wasted a little bit of time by uh, trying to install that, but at least we know. We know for the future now. God, God, I don't want to have to deal with that. Uh, let's orient this so that the green is on top because I am a little bit neurotic. Yep, there we go. That's actually also backwards. Ah, oh, that's nice. They're all in sequence except for this one. Let's fix that. Oh, that looks nice. Good. Green earthing cables on top. Very nice. Now we need this one elbow. I think we got one too many of those logic cables. And we'll whack this bad boy right there. Right. Okay, that's the whole sorting system set up. Don't forget your entire body is covered in trench foot and you have literally only been in river and cave water. Yes, 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 yes. That is absolutely true. We are kept in trench foot. That's why we're, that's why we're paid the big bucks. Okay, all of this is pretty good. Do we want to... Okay, I'm going to take this bucket. We'll use the magnet on a stick to try and fill the bucket up. But there is a hole right there that we don't actually want. You know what? Let's go ahead and safeguard ourselves a little bit. We'll get this here wall. And we'll try and plug this hole. Just in case some of the ores maybe try and go in there. I think that should be good enough. And we'll just kind of pipe them in from this side, I suppose. Okay, so is this ready to get turned on? No, we still need a couple of straight conveyors, like this one right here, to go and transit onwards. We don't need more of these, do we? We need one, two, three more straights to kind of like set up this entire place. I don't know if we've got three more straights, straight conveyors. We might have another couple on the cart, wherever the hell they are. No, we don't have any on the cart. I thought we had some. I thought we had some more. Maybe they're down south. Oh yeah, here's one. Oh yeah, there's a couple of them down here. We need three though. This one is one. We want to set it up right over here. Oriented the right way. Good. And we'll jump down here next. Whee! Big old fall. Uh, machinery has broken, unfortunately. 
And that one's been turned off for obvious reasons. Ah, oh, we still need to buy one conveyor belt, I think. Tarnation. Okay, we'll do that. We'll go ahead and we'll we'll buy one more conveyor belt. Last thing though, that's the that's literally the last thing we need for this entire bit. Do we take the quad? Let's take the quad. Boop. There we go. And on we go. Back to the store. Probably needs fuel, but I don't really care too much. You need another? Yes, one. We need one more. By my count. We only need the one more. Remember the one you never placed back near the oars? Back near the oars? What do you mean back near the oars? Back near the oars? What are you, smoking crack? Okay, over here. We'll back this bad boy in and we'll see if we can actually put a conveyor on here. Because we may not be able to. We're going to find out. We're going to see just how useful this quad actually is. Boop. Oh my god. Did it actually sit on there? Nice. Perfect. Okay. Good. And we'll put this money right here. I think they've welded. Yes, they've welded. Perfect. Okay. The quad is actually serving us useful for once. When you accidentally put it, uh, picked it up, you never put it back? Wait. I didn't just take that one, did I? That's not the one that I just took to uh, set up the conveyor system. Maybe you're right, actually. But I can't stick another one on the back of this quad, otherwise it'll just fall off. Give me your money or you're going to jail for not paying your taxes. I'm not taxed! I'm, I'm tax exempt. I'm tax exempt. Uh, let's go ahead and jump down this hole right here. Whee! Where are we? Okay, so we do actually need another one right here, don't we? I think we... Yeah, we do need another one. You're absolutely right, Gunner. We need another one. Mm -hmm. I'll just try and drop this one here, if I can. Yep, that'll do. And let's go ahead and just buy another one. We'll take the quad as well, because it's fastest. That's it, though. That's all we need. That's literally it. Here's a nuclear bomb. Are you sure you want to collect taxes? Yeah, exactly. It's a thousand bucks. Uh, how about you take the nuke? Take the nuke instead. Let me activate it real quick, and uh, you can have it. I think there's a jail in this game. Although, there is a wanted poster for Let's Game It Out somewhere around here. Where is it? I remember it being, like, right here at this park bench. But maybe it's moved. Maybe it's somewhere else. Where is it? Strange. Maybe the devs moved it way far away. Okay, let's get, uh... This backed into Conveyor Nation because we are going to need to get some conveyors nationally. And we're in. Good. Let's go ahead and buy the other conveyor right here. And this should be it. Good. Uh, we'll grab this money because we don't want to leave it behind, obviously. Uh, I hope that welded. Yep, that welded. We've got to pay. We've got to pay for the actual item. Whoops. Ah, well. Add petty theft to my tax dodging. The nuke is 26k, right? That's a huge increase. Yeah, well, it's it's me done for the next, like, what, 26 years? Uh -huh. You can have the nuke. Uh, let's go ahead and actually buy this before we drive off with it again. Good. I can't believe I keep forgetting to hit the giant red button. It's one of the most satisfying parts of the game, is hitting the giant red button and owning something afterwards. People spend their life savings at casinos to be able to do that. Man was looking for a want wanted poster in the graveyard. Might be. Might be in the graveyard. It was around there somewhere. It was, it, it was somewhere around there. I think it might have been moved. Might be in the DLC area now. That'd be pretty funny. Okay, let's go ahead and jam this into place where it belongs. Yeah. Nice. So, this is the entire sorting system set up. Aside from that one little annoyance down south that we could probably actually just realistically fix now. Let's do that. Let's get the magnet on a stick and we'll just fix that down south before we kind of forget about it. We could also just ungenerate them, but I don't really want to lose the items that comes with it. Okay, so we don't want these to hook onto those far ones there. Lag spike. Nice. Thank you very much, game. Well, everything is connecting. Uh, that's... Pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with all of those. Let's go ahead and drop this back down. And now we'll turn this bad boy back on. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and repair this other machine. And we'll fully repair that one too, so that they both break at the same time, which is just convenient. Right, now we can turn this on. And there it goes. The lag spike has begun. Good grief, that's quick. That is actually very, very quick. Let's stand on here and wait for it to go into the actual system. Oh, I just got a... Stuck at the centralizer. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, the lag. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh no. Oh dear. Are we going faster than the oars? I think we might be going faster than the oars. We're certainly beating some of those ones. Alright, we're coming up to the tunnel. I don't know why, but I love industrial music. Is it because it's uh, rhythmic work? Maybe. A lot of friends I know like industrial music because of that reason. Some on the god, uh, ground as well. Yeah, there's plenty on the ground, but we're just going to despawn those. We've got the majority of the lion's share up here, and we're not going to rock the boat too much. Let's watch these go into the sorting system up here. All right, here we are. The, the first big, the first big haul is coming on in, coming in hot and heavy. Here it is. Oh, look at that lag. Oh, look at the lag. It's gone. The lag is gone. Oh, nice. I love this. I actually love this. That's satisfying. Even all of the crap electric crystals going into their, their assigned places. Oh, it does work. It does exactly what we want it to do. Oh, that is nice. Perfect. It's eating the gems. This one's not. Where the hell is this one not? Why is this the only one that's functioning as intended? That is a big gem, by the way. Are they not plugged in or something? Is it because I'm dripping water directly on the cables? No, I don't think so. Uh. It's weird. That last one is set up properly. How's that? I mean, that kind of works good enough it, it manually works good enough i would say uh, don't forget the gems i will get the gems we'll get the magnet on a stick and we'll kind of uh get it into this bucket right here i would say let's do that now uh why did i hit unstuck i was above ground let's go ahead jump over here jump over here and we'll go into the gigantic suck hole now we're after that magnet on a stick which i'm pretty sure i just left down here there it is it's unstuck and here we are great Go through here. All right, the gems. Are we ready for the biggest lag spike that we will see? No, because you connected the circuit when there was already a power input. How does that mean? When there was already a power input. What? What? Oh, wait. Are you saying that I just kind of like need to reconnect all of these? That's not functioning as intended. Do I need to put the hook on there afterwards, maybe? No. Well, this is confusing. I think the one at the end is functioning exactly how we want it to. It's just swallowing everything. Oh, no, it's not doing that anymore. Okay. Strange. Let's go ahead and hit this lever. To kind of, like, mash all of them together. I mean, that, w that does work good enough. The others were connected when it was off. That one received a signal when it was on. They're stuck in alternation. Yeah, but this is not what we want. We don't just want everything to dump in there. We want them all to kind of like be closed and then eat every time they get something in there. What if we just close them? Oh! Hey, this works. I think I figured it out. Alright, let's see if the sapphire goes into the uh, sapphire thingy, my bob. Actually, this emerald's going to be faster. Let's watch this one. It should just swallow it, right? Swallow it and crush it. Boop. That's cool. Okay. All of them work. Wonderful. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, no. Let's get rid of this lamp because we don't really want to process this lamp. TBH, TBH. All right. Three, two, one. Impact. Oh. 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 
Okay, we've dropped half of them. It's probably for the best. Oh, the world is doomed. Oh, I don't think it's that bad. I don't. I don't think we're doomed. Dun 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 dun. Oh no, I moved accidentally. I'm gonna drop everything. It's all gonna fall into the bucket. Well, half of it's gonna fall in the bucket. Actually, we got a lot of it into the bucket. <laughs> we didn't actually get any in the bucket. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think we're getting some Crash Nation happening. Uh. Maybe we need like four buckets and we just want to drop it into them. Oh. Thank you, game. Okay, let's try and pick up some more and put it in the bucket. We should get less lag now because it shouldn't be pulling anything from the bucket anymore. Okay, now we drop it. Oh, no, nope. momentum's gonna carry it over the bucket. About here, we want it all here. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Where's the bucket? Oh no. Ah oh, well, leg over. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't actually expect there to be any gems in this thing. That looks kind of bougie actually, I do like that. Maybe we want to keep this. Uh, let's drop this right here. Good, that'll reduce some of the lag for the next section we're about to... Oh, no. Uh, less lag, less lag, less lag. It's too many gems, no such thing. Uh, uh, we need a more powerful magnet on a stick, don't we? And... Impact. I trust that, I trust that, I trust that. Just tried to get them all on the conveyor. That's yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna bucket as many as we can at once, then we're gonna just dump them onto the conveyor belt right over here. Boop. Excellent. We probably need a gem centralizer though. Kind of like. Oh, I think there's already a jam up here. Oh no, there's just a couple that are stuck. That's fine. Just a couple. Just a couple. Alright, now we need. Oh my god, I just got an achievement for compressing a hundred gems in the logic compressor. God knows how many of those we just picked up by hand. Hey there, Scott's World. How are we today? <laughs> As you can see, I've broken another game. <laughs> right? You can see the frame drop in this, right? And impact. I'm not dropping. The frames in the game are dropping. It's 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 all the game. Awesome. It just auto saved right here as well, which means we're not going to... No! Oh, I thought that was going to fly off into space. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. Okay, those are all going to compress. Wonderful. Probably want to get started on this other gigantic pile, don't we? This one right here. Oh, no. We can't move, by the way. We should not move. Okay, I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. I'm, dro I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> If only you could scoop with the bucket. Oh, actually, it's probably not a bad idea. Let's try that. Oh, no, we can't scoop with the bucket. <sighs> nah. It, it, I thought that maybe we could get, like, real low and potentially do it. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to... We can't move. Let's get our hands off of the movement controls. And we'll try and, like, throw these ones into the bucket. Well, that was effective. That was unusually effective, honestly. Yoink. <laughs> or not as effective as I thought. Hard sell sometimes. And we'll drop this one in. Good. I don't think that the magnet on a stick will actually kind of like... Oh, this is nice. This is nice. This is nice. I don't think it'll snap onto the things that are already in the bucket. So if we can just kind of like keep on dropping into the bucket, like those ones will all fall in there. We'll just continuously do this over and over again. There we go. There's another one. They're all kind of falling to the bottom. Yeah, they're not snapping onto the magnet on a stick. I think this is the way. <laughs> oh my god, it's like liquid. It's literally like liquid. Uh, this bucket, probably gonna lag the game like crazy as soon as we pick it up. Right, and pick it up everything around it and drop it. Okay, that's a pretty significant chunk of it. And there's not really much frame drop on here, but let's just drop this onto the conveyor belt before we decide that we don't have enough lag. Alright, there's enough lag! One of them fell sideways, a little bit silly. 
Uh, let's see if they're like dropping sideways off of the logic compressors. I don't think we've dropped a single one, right? All of them are kind of going to the right place. It does seem that way, doesn't it? Let's get these ones here off. Actually, no, we'll get the construction hammer and we'll start knocking everything into place. Bing, bong, bing, bong, whoops. Bing, bong. Because we don't want to pick up any of these conveyor belts at this point. We've basically set up the sorting system to be next to perfect. We could probably put a core stone intake pipe on it, and that would be the only improvement that we could really do on this. I don't think we'll ever replace the pipes because it's just unnecessary, and why would we? Uh, we'll put all of these here. Probably all... Oh! <laughs> but does that mean there's more coming over here? Yep, there's some <sighs> rubies. There's some sapphires coming as well. Here they come. Oh my god, it's like a stream of piss, isn't it? It's like a full stream of piss being dumped into these uh, compressors. And a couple of onyx. Good. Alright, let's knock all these in. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Bing, and also a bong, and also a bing, bong, bing, bing. And also a bing, and a bong, and bing, and bong, and, and bing. Also, bing. Good. I'm pretty happy with what we've got so far, to be honest. Knock all of these things into place as well, in case we accidentally pick some up. Not gonna knock the scales in, in case we don't need to just yet. How am I reaching that far one? Okay. I mean, I'm not going to look at gift horses in the mouth. Right, there's one here. Bing and bong. Everything's pretty much knocked into place, right? Good. Wowie. Wowie. Have you tried tapping W? Uh, tapping W is probably the worst thing you could do when you have all of that stuff on your stick. Have we started questing yet? Almost. We've now got the gem compression, so we can actually get away with questing. We're just cleaning up all of the mess that we made. Uh, before we actually get into the questing and then we're going to start questing probably even going to go and take a trip to the other uh, Zone see some of the DLC. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's too close to the the big main thoroughfare here Okay, let's drop a bunch of these into the bucket and as soon as they settle We'll just use the same technique that we just used before we pick them all up Centralize them and drop them and then as soon as they settle at the bottom of the bucket We'll do it all again. I think this is actually the way I think this is probably the best way of doing it. Good. Drop all of those in there, and as soon as they settle... We're kind of looking right at the bottom of the screen to figure out what the hell we're doing. And we'll drop all these in here. You can actually see it's working, because the, the frame drop is becoming... less and less apparent every time we do this. For some reason, the ball of gems doesn't get any smaller, though. Okay, good. And maybe another one right here. Excellent. My OCD is crying. Liquid money. We're rich. Liquid more kite deposit right here. Oh, yeah, definitely. But isn't that a, um, oh, a deep rock galactic joke? Normal people. Nice. Scoop up those remaining gems. Imagine all the cash. We're not selling these gems. What? What are you thinking? What do you think? We're not selling any of these gems. Okay, that should be enough for uh, a single bucket load. Let's go ahead and drop this onto the conveyor belt. Boop. That hurts to look at. Let's not look at that. That, that is an eyesore. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this here, and we'll try and clean up everything that we've already kind of started balling up and dropping in the bucket. Just over here. Boop. Drop that in there. A lot of those settled. A lot of those settled. Let's go ahead and pick these up and drop them back into the bucket. Whew. Yes, DRG. No idea what DRG means. I got the Deep Rock Electric reference, though. My favorite quote from that game is scream like your mother did. It's just so out of character psychopathic. Is that everything? Is that all of them? I think we've got a couple more on the outside of the bucket. We've cleaned up an entire pile. Excellent. Oh, look at that. Nice. Let's drop this here on the conveyor belt. Man, we're really dropping these from a huge height, aren't we? A couple of those didn't snap to the... Uh, to the conveyor belt as well. They just kind of fell down the hole. Wow. That is very nice to look at, though. DRG stands for Deep Rock Galactic. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I got a bunch of moustaches on that game when I was playing that with my friends. And now I've got a moustache of my own. And I don't really play a lot of PlayStation anymore. Cause and effect? Maybe. A correlation does not mean causation. Whatever the hell that means. All right, dropping these in. We're dropping some fat loads into this bucket. Good grief, these are fat. 
Can you believe all of these gems were contained in a single bucket? Honestly, like, thinking about that is pretty crazy. Especially since it's like 10 hours of the entire production that we have's worth of gems. Maybe we should get some gem compressors set up at the, uh... At, uh, uh Ember, Ember, Ember Field Commons or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. We're not going back there. That's all I need to know. Alright, let's stand back a little bit. So we can drop all of these ones into the bucket more effectively. There we go. Whoops, probably should have let some of those weld to the bottom of the bucket before we picked all of them up. There we go, good. And now we've only got a few more left to drop in. Let's try this. Whee! There we go. Okay, let's start picking up all of this stuff on the exterior. Wow, this is actually really, really fiddly. All of that just went into the bucket. Except for this one emerald. Which refused to go into the bucket. Alright, got a couple of rubies here. And we also got a single emerald as well. Drop that into the bucket. Uh, let's move the bucket over here. Because this is where all the gems are now. Ooh, black hole bucket. It is a bit of a black hole bucket, isn't it? Nice. Okay, and we'll drop this in there. Is that everything? Oh my god, I think we just cleaned up that whole... Oh, one more ruby. One more ruby. Just the one. Probably could have done that one by hand, to be quite honest. Ooh, ah, that was awful. That was an awful chore. Oh! Okay, a little bit of frame drop there when we dropped it. For a stream, you should watch Maya Winky ASMR Lord Farquaad does your makeup. What the hell does that even mean? I think your new tactic, you could get the dropped ores. Yes, I think we probably could. But there aren't actually all that many that are being dropped at this point. So I think we probably just like clear them as best as we can. Oh, there's also a couple of them over here that didn't really take onto the, onto the conveyor belt. All right. We got one really, really big load coming in. I see it. I see it. Here it is. It's in a one really, really long weird string. Here it is. And it's kind of lagged a bit. Yep, it doesn't really want to keep going. Oh no. It's making the conveyor belt stop and start. All right, here it splits. Yes. Oh, that is both nice and awful to witness. All right, who's next? Em uh, rubies? Yes. Yes. Dump them into its mouth. And now we got the sapphires. Yes, nom, nom, nom. How heavy is this thing? Who knows? <laughs> Impossible to know. Uh, onyx? Just a couple of onyx, I think. Enough onyx, though. Okay. We finally set up the sorting system, and we've got a couple of machines actually generating stuff now for us. That is a stained glass turd. <laughs> that is observant. That is, like... That is, that is autistic levels of observant right there. Let's drop that right there. Uh, we're probably never going to use that logic cable right there. We've set everything up. Everything is fine. Let's see how much of the core stone we have. Because we might be able to make a couple more machines before we actually go and start doing quests. We don't have anywhere near enough. We don't have anywhere near enough. But we do have another bar back here, I'm pretty sure. Or did we already drop it in? I think we already dropped it in. What happens when we drop a nuke into the furnace? Okay. <laughs> Do you all see that paranoid save right there before I realized I was doing something real stupid? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Those emeralds look like a piss stream. It did, didn't it? Wait for background music. You should. Wait for background music. We've got background music. We've got Wage Wars stripped album. Okay, uh, let's go and start shilling out some quests. I think that'd be a really good idea. Now that this is all generating and we know that we're not going to get any other uh, goodies for, for a long time because we just saw how much of the potassium we have and it's bugger all. Probably need some steers here too so we can get on these real easy. Uh, do we care about the shovel? Nope. <laughs> and it's gone. Wonderful. I'm talking about the weird ASMR thing he talked about. Okay, I'll take a look at it at some point. I won't take a look at it at this stream because I've uh, got somewhere to be. By the end of the stream. At 5 o'clock I have to go somewhere. And I can't be late. I'm going to go and sign up for a gym with my girlfriend. I have not actually been to a gym in years. Uh, although I have been exercising daily for a year. So I realistically probably should have by now. 
Ah, there's actually nowhere to put this valve hook on the uh, on the outtake pipe. We probably need to get some auto repairs down here, don't we? That might actually be a really, really good idea. Let's go ahead and put this maybe here. We'll take this pipe, put it in between, and where was that? There it is, right here. Uh, probably facing upwards makes the most sense. Is that going? I hope so. I see the water coming out. Right, good. We probably need some filters to be realistic. Oh, that's not good. All of the, uh... Oh, that's real bad. Okay, we gotta turn these off. Or we could just leave them on there. These things will just dump out all of the resources anyway. We probably need to get some auto repairs set up. But until we... Maybe we should do that sooner rather than later. It doesn't take long, and we've got enough money to do so. We're gonna do it. We're gonna set up the auto repairs now. It, it's a quick one. We're just gonna get it out of the way real fast. I'm going to get a different cart for all of the repair items we're going to buy, though. Oh. Expand production? Oh, yeah, hell yeah, I will. Hell yeah, I'll expand production. Your mum's a personal trainer? I was a PT for a little bit. That was probably the best thing I ever did in high school was... Uh, well, maybe that's not where I peaked in life, but... Uh, I was really, really good at physical education modules in high school. So, I was a PT for a little bit. I helped train mums. Yeah, it's kind of like a, sh a side job back in high school in the last year. Like Mind Industry, for example. I always love expanding production in games. Repair the grinders? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we'll do the auto repair uh, circuit. We only need five water hook filters, which we should probably get first before we forget. You know, as slip not say before I forget. They just don't say it like that. They say it a lot more aggressively. Right. Here we go. Let's get our money out. Uh, no, we are not going to buy that first. We're going to buy a separate cart for all the repaired stuff. I think that's going to be a really, really good idea. We'll get another fast cart. And then we'll just pack it in with repair circuits and stuff. Uh, this one right here. Boop. Buy. Got it. Got 126,000 buckery booze on that. Excellent. And we're going to walk this one over to the uh, store that we get the water filter hooks in. We're just going to load it up like a shopping cart. We can just take a new shopping cart every time we go shopping anyway. It's only a thousand bucks. Thanks for your business. Uh, you're welcome, I guess. I haven't bought anything. What a dick. Uh, one and two and three and four and five. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and... I hope we just bought all of those. One way to find out. Let's gap it. Now we got them all. Good. Uh, we'll go up to the logic place next, which we've actually just gone too far away from. Oop, I'm stuck on a bench. I know we're doing everything backwards, but there is a reason for it. I didn't want to turn around. Industry is a great little sand sandbox tower defense game. I'm more of an orcs must die kind of guy. When it comes to tower defense games, orcs must die is probably the best one I've ever played. Because you can directly influence, through a shooter, exactly the outcome of your, of your uh, skirmishes. That or Monster Hunter Rise. Monster Hunter Rise also has an awesome kind of interpretation of tower defense. Okay, so we're going to need a bunch of things. We're going to need some of these doodads over here, these doohickeys. I don't know what you just said, but I don't care. We're going to need five of these uh, spanner hurtling units. Three and four and five. We're also going to need five of these logic durability readers. And three and four and five. Now we're going to need five T-junctions. We ready? One, two, three. Whoops. Four. And five. And then we are going to need five of these straight cables minimum. Three, four, five. And then we're also going to need 15 elbows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, 15. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now that we've got those, uh, let's also buy a billion repair sacks with the last of our money. Because we're going to need them. We're going to need a lot of them. This is only 10 grand. I think I've missed something, but... Where's our money? Oh, it's in the mess of things we want to buy. That's fine. Huh? Huh? There we go. 10 grand down the hole, and we are absolutely swimming pretty. That's not where I dropped that. 
Let's also get ourselves some repair kits. I think there's some in the shop just over the hill over here. We'll take a shortcut through the home wares. And while we're here, actually, we should probably get some light sources for downstairs, too. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll get some of these standing torches. Whoops. I don't want to drop them in the cart, I think. Would probably be the best idea, right? Yep, that's one. It's okay. We'll get maybe four of them. Or we could just drop them on the ground like an absolute stupid ape. Dude! Okay, that one's good. Uh, shut up, lady. I know you see that I've got lots and lots of money, but your goods are not what I'm interested in. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> this is cursed. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's get our money, which we may have just blocked ourselves from. We did not, actually. It's just over here. Boop. And we will also put this cart where it belongs to be... The goods if you got the cash. Wait, why can't I... Did this not cost anything? Huh? What? They cost 160 bucks each. Why are they not checking out? Let's see if they're free. No, they're not free. Of course they're not free. It just wouldn't let us purchase them. Thank you, game. Everybody say thank you to the nice game for gaslighting us. Looking for some light. It's really expensive. PVZ is peak tower defense, in my opinion. Search up one minute ASMR PV, your Mr. Clean's fridge. I will not be searching anything up in this session right here. I'll probably uh, do so, like, tomorrow maybe as, like, a break in between the, the, the Undertale stream. But for now, I'm literally only going to be playing Hydroneer for the rest of the stream. Where are the repair kits? There they are. We need a heap of these bad boys right here. One, two, three. Whoops. We need like four per spanner hurtling unit. So we're going to need 20. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've probably actually got more than what I'm counting. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We'll get some spears. We probably don't need any spears, but we'll get some spears anyway. Good. Almost got what I would consider to be enough. And we got enough, I, I would I would say. Yep. We uh, want to check these out now. Hopefully they won't sting us an arm and a leg. Oh, that's just a single arm. That's fine. That's, that's absolutely fine. I'm happy to give an arm for this. A peace of mind? Absolutely, I'll pay that. Uh, let's get in the back of the truck right here. I said expansive, not expensive. Oh, yeah, I really like those games as well. Expansive games are awesome. Any game that kind of has, like, a gigantic scale of production is just awesome. Pell World also has it. Pell World's really, really good. I played that for, for quite a while, although I made the mistake of playing it on the hardest difficulty, straight off rip, which is maybe not the best idea because uh, all of my friends were all like, oh man, there's level 80 Pokemon. That's how you, that's where you get all of these Pokemon and this, this, this is how you do it. And you, you gotta go and exploit this boss and that boss. And uh, I was like, I'm still at level 20. I just got the musket. <laughs> Big whoops. You take over two planets in the game and not just barren landscapes. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Uh, we want to go down south. Probably also going to want to find a pickaxe of some sort. Hopefully there's one down there. There may not be, though. Uh, let's just put this here, way out of the way. All right. Where's the pickaxe? I think we left it down south. A lot of crap on the ground over here. Yeah, not really interested in all this crap on the ground, to be honest. More interested in where our pickaxe is. What the hell is our pickaxe? It's upstairs. It's got to be upstairs, right? We'll take the stairway to heaven upwards, and we are in the sorting system. Where did we put it? I think we may have lost the pickaxe. Any game ideas? I'm trying to find new games to play that I don't have to pay for. One actually just came out today on Steam called No Longer Human or Forever Human or, or something like that. It looks really good. It's on uh, PC though and it's about 50 gigabytes, unfortunately. That's the downside. This look really good though. I might play for a little bit tomorrow with a uh, flying horse, but who knows? Who knows what tomorrow holds? He won't tell me. He never tells me. Uh, let's go ahead and just... Do one more scan for a pickaxe before we kind of give up and go and buy one. There it is. It's in the cart over here. Awesome. Okay, now we can go down Satan's butthole. And we can mine out the logistic infrastructure 
Well, this auto repair system that we're going to start working on with these water filters. Start uh, digging all this crap up. I know I said we were going to go and do some quests, but this is probably more important because it is now the only choke of our production. Okay, good. Do you want to maybe mine the things I'm pointing the pickaxe at, my dude? Maybe? I'm going to mine all of this out so that we don't have to, like, crouch jump and, and get exploits all throughout the place. What is that? Okay, we've got some ore down south. Go ahead and dig out this way. Because it's, again, in the way. Not really interested in this. Let's get rid of it. And we'll get rid of this nice... This nice round in the wall right here. We'll replace it with something flat. Good. Okay, now we just got to get uh, this bowl out of the way. Because I'm pretty sure it's in the way of all of the stuff we need. We could probably set up... We could probably set up the... Uh, the auto repair system, like, maybe here? Because I don't think that we can go down there. Oh, no, we can actually go down there. No, we, we're at the tier 3 or We don't want it down there. We want it kind of, like, at this side over here. Right. So, let's go ahead and look at the orientation of this thing. Let's be straight out this way. Kind of, like, to the side as well. Let's go ahead and unplug this. Put it right... Maybe... Here? Turn it around so we can fit all of the crap we want to fit in there. Uh, these are all logic cables. We actually need some pipes. We need a bunch of pipes, actually. Let's go and get the pipe cart. Whew. Look at it, Voices of the Void. It's a great game. Controls are a bit hard to memorize at the uh, first, though. It's considered a horror game, just so you know. Even though it wasn't intended. Ha! I put an ideas list on notes. Yeah, do that. Or you can just use my game requests on Discord. Oh, you can't join the Discord yet, can you? That's fine. That's fine. You take your time. Uh, this is completely in the way. Let's kind of come up here. I still don't really regret not buying the Agile car because it's still not necessary for us. We'll put that one there. We don't want this T-junction at all. We want some straights. That's another T-junction. Thank you, game. On this one right here. Can we, like, push it all the way up? No, we can't. We'll have to actually do it manually. Uh, we need five of these lifts in total, which is kind of why I have the... Shut off valve right over there, because now we've got basically side by side plus one over there. So we need one more length on either side of these straights. And one more. And then we're going to elbow in both of these parts. Good. One goes here. And the other one goes here. Wonderful. All right, that's all piped in. Now we need all of the water filters, which are going to start taking damage as soon as we put them down, basically. We put them in the truck, didn't we? Or do we put them back here? Let's see. Oh, no, they're right here. Okie dokie. Let's put this one kind of, like, facing sideways. Doesn't really want to orient. Yep, that's good. And we need another three on the side. One there. One over here. Now we're going to get another two on the other side, because that's where they fit. Good. Sometimes the orientation works in our favor really, really well. Sometimes it doesn't. All right, we've got maximum water purification here. Now we just need to pipe in all of the other kind of like electrical stuff. Where did our pickaxe go? There it is. Wonderful. Uh, not really interested in the shovel, I don't think, unless it's to pipe in some dirt into the bum bum of these machines. So we'll probably just leave it here and look for it when we need it. Get rid of this uh, gigantic bowl that we're not really going to be using in any shape or form. Uh, do you know iced animals, Jensen? Is it food? Yeah, I do, actually. They are delicious. I'm a grown-ass man, and I can admit with full certainty that iced animals are, in fact, delicious. Although, I've got one uh, favorite over the iced animals, and that's chicken crimpy shapes. Chicken crimpy shapes are kind of my kryptonite. They're my crimp tonight, you could say. I have two packs of them less, uh, next to me. They're a little expensive, aren't they? It, like, the last time I saw them, they were at six bucks a box, which is twice what what Chicken Crimpy costs. Maybe it's just the standard of the economy these days, but... I don't know, they, they kind of seemed a little expensive to me last time I saw them. I had them lots when I was a kid. But I'm not really a kid anymore, so I get to choose what I eat, and I choose MSG every time now. <laughs> oh, adults are just big kids. Changed my mind. <laughs> Oh. Ice animals are bus? A bus? 
No, bus. Not bus. <laughs> if they were bus, they would probably taste a lot different to how everybody is uh, referencing them right now. Well, the thing's still underwater right here. It's a shame we didn't get a light source. Uh, it's a shame that they didn't allow us to purchase a light source. It's a shame that now we kind of have to dig around in the dark like an absolute idiot. We kind of... We're doing well considering we're digging around in the dark like an idiot, but... It could be... It could be better, honestly. It could be a lot better. What the hell? There's a... There's a, a, a product of the nuke sitting up here, doing nothing. I think we've got enough room. I think we've got enough room for the auto repair circuits. We need one per item because we don't want all of them to trigger at once. That's a waste of spanners. And that would just uh, make it a pain in the ass to kind of like automatically correct, I think. We kind of also want to set up some... How do we want to do this? We want the... We want the items that look at the durability to come in from the top, and then we want the items that kind of throw the spanners to come in from the side. And the reason we want to do that is we want a conveyor belt system underneath it going in a circle over and over again so that we can put all of our... All of our these, our repair kits on the conveyor belt. It just goes up to the top. And then it kind of loops in a big cycle. Actually, we only need one conveyor system going underground because we're never going to want to take them back out. And then that we want that to merge onto a loop that goes underneath all of the auto repair circuits that we've got set up. That we will have set up in the very, very near future. So this one is a reader. Uh, this is one of the ones we want on top. How do we orient this? Like that. Probably like that. And we'll need another two of these bad boys. That is a Spanner Hurtley unit. Throw that in the in the water, because we don't really want it just yet. Here's another one. Good. Put this one right there. And we just need all of the rest now. Damn, it's, it's just bags. It's just bags. Oh, there was one. Uh, let's throw that out of the cart right there. And we want that one there. We're kind of having to pixel hunt for all of our goodies now. I think that's all of the Spanner Hurtling units. Let's just drench them for good measure. Uh, we'll spin these around as well so they don't look like absolute garbage. Huh? Okay, that thing right there is actually in the way. This thing right here. Let's get the scrap and we'll just drop it on the ground. Annoying. Annoying little thing. Let's put that there. And we need one more. There it is. And let's put it right here. Excellent. So that is pretty much golden. Now we can start putting in the Spanner Hurtling units, I would say. We want them to face in sideways, and we want to be able to read how many are actually in there. Hopefully that's not upside down. That would be really annoying. Good and good. Now we need to kind of turn these around, but I don't think... Yeah, no. It, it doesn't reorient the actual numbers. Now we'll stick that one there. Oh my god, so much chat. Adults are big children, but politicians are not adults or big children. What are they? They are small children. Uh, uh, politicians are small children. They get really upset when they don't get to play with their toys, whether that be women or um, <laughs> money. And they throw tantrums that really affect everybody around them. That's what a politician is, I would say. Baby's got morals, though. Yep. <laughs> I eat babies. Uh, okay. Okay. I mean, like, there's there's probably worse meats in the world, flavor-wise, but I think morally you're really in the in the black there. You're really you're really black with your morals there. Uh, let's go ahead and get these T junctions out and about. One there, one over here. We're gonna need another one just over here. We only got five of these T junctions, so it shouldn't be too hard to place all of them. Uh, bugger, we've lost all of the rest of them. Where are they? Ah, <laughs> uh, here's one. Good. Put this one over here. Probably need to dig out a little bit more so we can access the levers. There it is. Great. And one right here. Excellent. Now we're going to put a straight leading up from that. Hopefully we can orient the pipes around so that we aren't looking at some mismatches. That's really nice looking. Uh, then there's one over here. We want to put that there. We have more straights, don't we? Yep, good. There we go. And we probably want to elbow in from those after we put these straight ones in, quite honestly. Because these are also going to link in if we just have them in the same orientation. It's a little bit fiddly to change that. That one's a straight. Good. And that can go there. Okay. Now we are at the point where we still need to mine out a little bit more, unfortunately. <sighs> they taste like dust. If you know, you know. 
Babies. Babies taste like dust. The new one. Haven't heard that one before. Uh, it's not oriented properly, but at least the green is linked in the grounding cable, so we're not going to get shocked or anything like that. I'll right, we'll put that one there, and let's also have these ones coming out of here, because they are the right orientation. This one as well. Wonderful. Let's now reorient these. Maybe... No, not like that. Let's flip it sideways like that. No, that's hideous. We actually wanted to do it exactly how we had it. Yep, that's good. That's that's lined up. It's nice and aesthetic. Put that one there. Put this one. Oh, oh, we need more straights. I completely forgot about that. Big whoops. Oh well. My bad, guys. My bad. We're going back for more cabling. I knew there was like something a little bit iffy about what it, uh, what my uh, calculations are getting to. We got more elbows than we need as well, which is pretty funny too. Are you referencing the image of the dust baby? Yinsen, I can send you the image I think has he's referring to. It's really funny. If you stick it in the Discord, I'll definitely see it. I predate that Discord maybe like five, six times a day. Uh, let's start putting spanner units in here. Maybe, maybe we'll put conveyors underneath it before we actually set all of this up. Because then we can pipe in all of the conveyors from above ground, and then we'll have just kind of like an input where we just dump all of these things. We could probably even put the cart on the conveyor belt, and it'll just take from the cart. I think that'll be the way. I think that's going to be the way. We need another pipe coming literally up, straight from here. Maybe we'll, like, uh, curl it around in a nice, a nice curly fry or a pasta. Nice pasta noodle. So we need five more straight cables. Let's grab our cart. We'll go up topside and we'll go and grab those. We'll go grab those right now. All right, we've got 107,000 buckery booze. Let's go on foot this time. We never, we never go, we never get our steps in, do we? It's really funny. I'm they, them. Sorry, do I keep mixing up pronouns? I usually, I assume that everybody is male, given my, my YouTube analytics, because 97% of the people who watch my videos are in fact male. On their account. I don't know what that other three percent is. But it sure as hell ain't girls. <laughs> Alright, we'll come out here. I've never really like I've never been into the whole pronoun thing. I never I never really understood the point. I might sound like a boomer in saying this, but I never like I know it's a personal journey thing. It's a, it's another one of those personal journey things, and I've never been on that personal journey, uh nor will ever be motivated to go on one of those personal journeys. So I, I don't really understand why uh, people put so much stock in them. My real pronouns are she, her, but I go by they, them, for people who don't them. I mean, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. I usually, I prefer to call people by their name, honestly. If I'm talking about somebody, I'd rather call them by their name than um, something else. And maybe that's why it's never, like, clicked for me. All right, we need five of these straight cables right here. One, two, three, four, and five. Now let's buy them. I'm glad we didn't pick up that elbow. We could have picked up that elbow, but we didn't. Uh, let's... Oh, poos! I wanted to grab the money. Why, why, why can't I grab the money? Oh, yeah, we got it this time. Great. 420! Nice! Blaze it! Hashtag blaze it. Let's get our steps back in. Please look in eye bleach. I will do after the stream, as I've said several times. I refer to teachers as either miss or... Oh, man! Oh, I don't want to send anything, honestly. Send a restart, sure. Do that. Okay, something crashed. Please, it's so funny. Again, no. I'm, I'm not going to derail an entire stream to look at a photo on the Discord. Discord's for when I'm not actually streaming. Don't need to show on stream. It's not about privacy. It's not about privacy. It's about uh, scope creep. Because if I do it once, people will expect me to do it for the rest of the time that I, I spend streaming. So I'm, I, I'm just having a flat-out rule. I'm not going to do it. Luckily, we have autosaves every five minutes, so we shouldn't have lost too much. We may have been on our way to the shop. Okay, yeah, it's nothing against you. Um, it's it's literally, I, I just don't want, like, the scope of what I'm doing in the stream to creep. Because I, I already have enough, like, ADD. I'm not diagnosed, but I feel like I've got enough traits of ADD to kind of warrant just wanting to stay on topic. Uh, so, let's get five of these cables. I think the 420 actually just crashed the game. I think maybe the game engine just blazed a little bit too hard. What does it cost 420 bucks? That's weirdly reliable as well. 
Good, we didn't lose our money. We still have all of our money. Which is still generating over at uh, Ember's Cradle as well. It's pretty funny. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll stick this back on the cart. That's good. Uh, okay, good. Let's get our steps back in. Hopefully it won't crash again. You're going to get very confused after the stream seeing the dust baby? No, I'm not. I, I have a, a fairly good memory. I've got a fairly good memory. I've got official diagnosed ADHD. Is it fun? I don't think it's fun, right? It's not like one of those fun ones. Because a lot of people are romanticizing it on the internet these days. Especially on Instagram. People are being all like, Oh my god, I'm so ADD. Ha ha ha. Or I'm so ADHD. I'm so hyper. How wacky and zany. Ha ha ha. Follow me for more tips on how to deal with ADHD that I've never been diagnosed with, nor probably even have. Yeah, you know, it's debilitating, isn't it? As far as I'm aware, it's debilitating. Like OCD, a lot of people think that people with OCD really like cleaning, but people with OCD are actually just all like, they have a catastrophic meltdown or a conniption every time something is not like 99% perfect. I've got official diagnosed of depression and OCD. Yeah, I've got a few as well. I got a uh, depression, major depressive disorder. I've got uh, clinical anxiety and I've got clinical insomnia as well. Last night, the clinical insomnia crept up on me a little bit too hard. Uh, I do have the depression and the anxiety under control, and I'll tell you what, it's all mindset. It's not got anything to do with uh, with medications. It's all just stubbornness. It's a, it's a stubborn willpower to not want to uh, be depressed. Well, you know ADHD and ADD have been combined? Is that the... Uh, oh, that's the uh, spectrum thing, right? They're one thing now, but Ritalin works as well. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I mean, they're basically similar enough, right? Uh, I don't think that's oriented right. The hell? This machine just used all of the wrenches that I stuck into it for no reason. Oh my god, are you taking the pith? Do we have any flip-flops? We don't, do we? Damn, we actually need all those flip-flops. Uh, let's just drop these cables here. We'll drop everything that we have, oh, except for the elbows. We don't need to drop the elbows. We'll just drop all of these all over the place. And we'll grab this elbow. We'll put it back into the cable cart right here. And we'll go and get more flip-flops. Unstuck. Good. It's a bit annoying that some people say it's not real and that I'm just lazy. Yeah, that's a big one, right? That's a real big one. Avocado, depression, OCD, anxiety, ADHD, and more. I think everybody's got a little smattering of something, right? But as long as it's not moderate to major, you, you can kind of get through life pretty, pretty, not easily, but it doesn't it terribly affect you so much. Some people just seem to collect mental disabilities like Infinity Stones or Pokemon cards, like it's not a good thing. Yep, I have definitely seen that on the internet, mainly Instagram and TikTok, actually. A lot of it on TikTok as well. And then they give out some of the most garbage advice, like, uh, Hey, are you a little bit depressed and anxious? Have you tried getting up at 4.30 a.m. and then going for a run at 4.30 a.m. as soon as you get out of the bed? And then as soon as you get back home at 7 at seven o'clock after your two and a half hour run, have you ever uh, like been depressed after that? Or have you been too tired to be depressed? And you're just like, who the hell is actually going to follow that advice? Well, here's what I do in a day. I like to do 22 hours of chores and then I get to cooking dinner for me and several families. That kind of stuff. That really... It, it's a little, it's a little impossible to deal with sometimes. Like the people who fake Tic Tacs. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I'm, what I'm talking about. I've had depression since eight because of family, because my grandparents keep getting sick and like they had died. That sucks. I, that's, I definitely resonate with that. Uh, my, my grandparents passed a lot later than when I was a kid, but I didn't really get to see my, my parents and stuff when I was growing up. So I think a lot of the, uh, the depressive stuff definitely came from that. I like to say that I have no regrets in life other than what my parents gave to me. It's a, it's a pretty good way of uh, describing my mindset now in adulthood. And it will pass. Everything that you're experiencing uh, before you hit about 20, it will pass. It will definitely pass eventually. And the thing is, when it passes, you won't even notice. You won't even notice that it disappears. Uh, until then, though, the best thing you can really do is uh, keep distracted, keep busy, learn a, learn a craft or learn a trade, join a community, um... Be around like-minded people. Not people who enable you, but people who call you out on the things that they would see as enabling. That's definitely something uh, important to have. Why are we here? Oh my god, I'm so ADD. I've like completely forgotten why I'm here. I'll tell you what. I will get this mule's cart 
with 30,000 kilograms of spanners on the back of it, and I'm going to go for a six-hour run. Take a look at my goods. No, I won't be doing that. For some guild <laughs> I think we were going to the electrical store, right? And we were going for flip-flop cables. Saddest time when I spent my great granddad's medals, seven World War II, was stolen from my grandparents' home. That sucks. That absolutely sucks. I, co I couldn't even imagine that. He's been dead for ages. Gunner, I imagine that's uh, your own grandparents. It really, it really does suck. Uh, my grandparents were basically my the parents that I got rather than the parents that I had. Uh, we want the logic flip. Uh, we want five of these. So I spent a lot, basically every second weekend with my grandparents, and I would have turned out a far, far worse person if I didn't have uh, them to kind of like help guide me. Because they were very, very respectable people. They were um, university lecturers, and one of them ran our city's local choir for a good 20 years as well. My grandma has literally written textbooks on the uh, state of religion here in uh, Southland and Otago. Several textbooks, actually, that are used in the universities. I got free education. That's what I got when I was a kid. Is that, yeah, it is a bit sad, isn't it? It is a bit sad. When my granddad passed away, it was it was it was not a nice time. I did learn a lot though. I learned a lot from him, even after he had passed. Probably the most important thing I learned from him was not what he wanted me to be, but what he expected of me. I thought that when when he was around, he wanted me to be this kind of like this this thriving, wealthy man with a with a family and three houses and a, a sports car and stuff like that. But uh, it took me a lot of kind of low points and realizations and epiphanies to realize that he just wanted me to be a good person. So that's what I am now. I'm a good person. I'm a good person. I can say that with confidence as well. It's pretty nice to be able to say that with confidence. Uh, okay, so we are back where we kind of started several times and we've got all the cables, we've got all of the flip-flop hooks that we need. Let's go ahead and install these after we install the levers. Because we're going to need the levers first. Can't forget that. Or do we need the flip-flop flop hooks first? Probably need the flip-flop hooks first, to be quite honest. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll have them on the outside facing outwards so that we know exactly what they do. And we should be absolutely Gucci. It's over here. Uh, we want this flipped over that way, and we want the same on the other. And then I'm also going to get to mining out the points that we need to clear. We need that right there. Let's go ahead and whack that on the cables. And we're going to pick. We're going to pick a bunch of stuff out. So we want basically a walkway around here so that we can get around this cabling in the first place. And we also want to be able to... Uh, access all of these levers as well as being able to get around here for some other kind of maintenance things right we want to be able to kind of have a, a big walkway so we're not impeded in our journey around we're gonna have to dig quite quite a wee ways around here though to be quite honest the levers do stick out quite far i hope we have them i hope we actually do have the levers i'm just gonna mine out this little section right here so i give myself something else to work towards a, a bit of a better visual representation of the part that we need to excavate. My great grandmother on my dad's side was admitted to the hospital today because she had to have surgery because of something in her stomach. That sucks. Uh, my gran last week broke two ribs. She she broke two ribs and it took her two days to go to the hospital because she's just that kind of person. I was so mad when I heard that too. I was so, so mad. She was carrying a, a stack of textbooks and then she slipped over and knocked her, her chest on a, on a desk. It was two days after I was playing the Mortician's Assistant. Mort yeah, the Mortician, no. Mortuary Assistant, the horror game. Looked really, really good, but unfortunately the uh, second character that uh, you have to embalm and, and desecrate uh, with the demonic stuff Ended up being the exact same age and uh, full name as my grandmother the day before that happened to her ribs. So, funnily enough, that's actually why I'm playing Hygienia, if it's not obvious. That's, uh, I had to take a, a bit of a break from horror after that really, really sobering reminder that, you know, sometimes luck is not good. <laughs> luck is not a great thing. Better story here. My granddad on my mother's side beat cancer, a tumor on his face. That's, that's nice. That's heartwarming. I like that. I got a few people who've beaten cancer. Uh, in my life, including one of my best friend's mums. It's good. It's good to be cancer. 
It's definitely one of those things that you, you really don't want popping up in life. Kind of rough. Especially when it's genetic and not kind of like caused by any lifestyle issues. Like, I don't know, eating like a like a kilo of red steak every single day is, is probably not a, a great thing for your health, especially when you hit your 70s or 80s. Okay, yeah, we'll mine all of this out. I think we've got enough, honestly. I think we've got enough to kind of get away with just whacking a couple of levers down in front of here. Again, I still don't necessarily remember if we bought levers, but I suppose we're going to find out very, very shortly. I've also committed to getting a bunch of uh, conveyor belts underneath these repair items right here as well, so uh, we'll do that before we start doing quests and such. Alright, now, what else have we got? We should probably just repair the machines while we're waiting, right? We'll have them generate some ore while we're actually working. It's probably a good idea. I'll repair these so that they... Oh, no. This looks very congested. This may not be good. Can we just, like, pick it up? Oh, we can, actually. That's a little uncomfortable, but... Say Levy, I suppose. All right, let's just drop them in one by one. Good. There can only be so many, right? There can only be so many of these things. And all of the damage is being applied to the... Uh, what's it called? The filters. I'm just hoping I don't accidentally pick up the excavator. Ah! I didn't want to do that because now we have to get rid of the dirt that it sits on as well. Ah, oh, poos. That's really annoying. Let's turn that off. Just because all of this mud is in the way and it's actually very obnoxious. Got to be a better way of doing this, right? Maybe if we get on this corner, we can just like drop it straight in. Right. Nope. That's the conveyor belt. Oh, for God's sake. We need to turn off the conveyor belt now, too, so we can actually access this goddamn machinery. All right, let's just start picking it up, dropping it straight in here. We're not going to worry too much. I almost just picked up the machine. We should get the repair hammer down here, and we should just lock it into place, right? We, we shouldn't be stupid about what we're doing. We should just be confident with what we've already got. Oh, God, this is going to be a yucky fix. Okay. We are kind of getting it, though. We are, we are decongesting the machines. All right. Let's uh, get this. Oh, we can actually place it. No, we can't. The dirt is in the way. Bugger. Right, let's go and find a shovel. Because we actually need to be able to get rid of this now. Put it on the wall, I suppose. Damn. That sucks. It actually sucks. Uh, we want to stick this. Huh? Why can't we stick it there? What the hell? It's exactly where it needs to go. There's nothing in the... Oh, there is actually something right here. Right there. Tiny little one. Uh, can we... Mm -hmm. <sighs> this goddamn game. Oh my god. What is blocking it now? I'm stuck. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's turn this conveyor system off because I'm getting sick of getting caught in it. Why? Why will it not allow me to place? Is it this pipe right here? Oh, we have to do this with the other machine, too. Oh, my God. Just place. Uh, uh, Why? Don't tell me it's... Oh, my God. There's more dirt down here. Seriously? Guess who's mad? Mad again. Jensen's mad. Stream might end. No, it won't end. It won't end. Okay, that's still not good enough. Apparently there's more dirt. Are you serious? We have to dismantle this entire operation just to get some clumps out of the way. This is revolting! Why? Why is this even a thing? Another one right there. We're going to have to do all of this with the other machine as well, by the way. Oh, yuck. Yuck! I hope this T-pipe goes here. Right there. Okay, let's try place this now. Good, we got it. We finally got this damn thing. Huh? Hey there, Dog Shark. How are we today? Huh? That's some thick dirt. My huh? God. Uh, sorry, I wasn't looking at chat for a, enough time to literally have a conniption. I am about to have a, a physical heart attack right here. There is a single piece of dirt somewhere around here that's preventing us from being able to place this damn thing back down. 
Where is it? It's not in the machine, is it? Is it like floating? Somewhere around here? Oh my god. This is the worst. This is literally the worst. Oh, uh, I've seen saw traps that are kinder than this. Oh, there's one right there. We are, by the way, let me reiterate what we're doing right now. We are fishing around in the trench to try and find enough dirt to be able to place down the excavator that blocked itself up in the first place. <laughs> Okay, that should be good, right? That should be it. I'm confident. I'm confident that that's it. Oh, oh, that's not it. It's not it. It's not it. It's not it. It's not it. What else is blocking this machine? Don't tell me it's this. Oh, it's got to be this, right? Oh, just threw myself up. Just threw myself up like an emetic. Right. Okay. I'm. I'm. I confident. I confident. I confident. That's it. That's it. Oh, 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 I'm, 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 I'm gonna curse, I'm gonna curse. <laughs> and it's gone. Okay, uh, let's hook in this pipe here. Maybe it actually just needs something to hook onto, perhaps. Maybe that's the, the cause of all of our frustration right now. <laughs> Why? Is it because this is in the way? Why do we have to dismantle this entire goddamn machine to unblock it? This is stupid. What the hell? Surely you are taking the piss. It's got to be this, right? Oh, for God's sake. We have to do it with the other machine as well. <laughs> oh, this is worse than when we dropped all of the gems on the ground. Like, this is actually worse. At least we had a... Oh, finally. At least we had a plan for that, right? We had a plan for when we dropped all the gems on the ground. <sighs> Which way is it supposed to be facing? That way. Okay. You see that, Goofy? Oh. Gorsh, Jensen, what the hell is going on with that one? I don't know. Oh. I'm so angry I've turned into Mickey Mouse. All right, what are you guys saying? Hammer the other machine? Yep, that is a great idea. Maybe it's the grinder. It was the grinder, I think. The water does not help at all. Jensen Madden, two times speed is so funny. If only it showed you what was blocking it. I know, that would be like a quality of life that would just, I, I would I would pay for this game again for that quality of life. Yeah, let's let's actually, let's, let's hammer the other machine. Let's unstuck ourselves. Let's get our repair hammer. Let's go ahead and do exactly that. We are not gonna be uh, uh, too silly. We're not going to be too silly with this. Let's get our hammer. We'll go back down the uh, the nuke hole over here. Wee nuka hola. Looks cool from up from up top, doesn't it? Uh, let's hammer this in place. Let's hammer this in place. Let's actually hammer everything down here in place in case any of this garbage gobbledygook happens again. Uh, probably not too worried about the pipes, right? Because if we oh no, actually if we don't hammer the pipes, then we definitely can't hammer the conveyor belts. Okay, good. Uh, we don't ever want that to move. I'm stuck. We don't ever want this outtake pipe to move. We don't want this to move. We don't want that to move. When all of that's stuck in place right there. Bing bongs. Bing bongs all across the board. For the love of God. Ah. I like how you can bang your head against the default boss for hours, but bad game mechanics are too much for you. <laughs> it's not a bad game mechanic. I. It's not a bad game mechanic. It's... It's fear, right? It's it's a fear. It's a physics-based engine. There's not really a lot that's objectively bad about this game. It's still a good game for all intents and purposes. Got to be said, you got to give this game credit where it's true. It's not a bad game. What it isn't is communicative. It hates to communicate, which is fair enough. I dated people like that before, and it makes sense that I would encounter a game like this as well. Okay, I probably also want to do these conveyor belts here. Let's just go ahead and bang everything that we can in place. Not going to worry about the pipes that kind of make up the sorting system, because if we lose one of those, the whole thing's buggered anyway. Oh, look! All of the production that was coming out of the machines before they absolutely just collapsed. Gem polisher goes there. Good, that's all. All right, we're going back down. 
Uh, actually, let's leave that hammer up here because we are not going to be needing it again. Let's go ahead and just drop it by this magnet on a stick. And we'll go back down the nuke hole because it's the fastest way down. Ooh. Oh, if only there was a button to auto hammer everything. We don't necessarily want that. To be fair, we don't actually want that. We don't want that. Why can't it, like, show the problem in a red outline? Yeah, I know, right? Like, even if there was some kind of cheat menu that just kind of showed you exactly what was wrong, it'd still be fine. All right, this is fine. We can turn it back on now. No, we can't. The uh, circuitry has fried itself. We can probably turn the sorting system back on. No, we don't want to do that just yet. We actually want to get all of these clumps of dirt and we want to jam them into this machine right here, into this grinder, don't we? Why is it not turning? Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, one of the filters is actually busted. That was predictable. All right, let's go ahead and we'll put this into the spanner repair unit right there. Done. Do you want to maybe... Oh, we have to connect that one up as well. So we need levers. Right. So let's actually just manually repair this one right here. With it literally up our nose. Good. We did it. We did exactly what we wanted to do. Now let's go ahead and just jam every single one of these bits of dirt into the machine. That's good. We'll get all the big ones out of the way first. We can start dropping the small loads. Or not. We'll just leave that on the conveyor belt until we're uh, clear enough to actually put it in the machine. Good. Uh, we'll put all of these little ones in there before I forget about the big one that we've already kind of left on the conveyor. Good. 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 And we'll drop this one into there as well. Oh. That'll be a big one. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and turn ourselves so we can just pick up and drop. Oh my days, this one was blocked like crazy. Oh my days. Look at this. So much stuff. It even blocked it up so hard that it started piling it upwards. That's crazy. Frustrating, but crazy. Very annoying, this... <laughs> This feature is very, very annoying. Oh, we can literally just mash E. Okay, good. Oh, that's so much faster. Yes. I like this. Oh, yes, that's good. Yes! Pile it into the suck hole. I probably want to come over here now. Just angle it a little bit better. How are we doing? I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good. We are unblocking everything. Almost just lifted a pipe off of the uh, circuitry, but honestly... That's probably the least of our problems. Man, this thing generated way too much. Oh my god. I mean, that's actually really good. That means we are probably outputting more than we can handle. Which is exactly how Jeff Bezos became a billionaire, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> Speed. Constipating the grinders? Yes, we need to constipate the grinders. Well, unconstipate the grinders. We need, we need to... Lactate? What's the, what's the noun for laxatives? Crap yourself? We need to crap the grinders. Okay, I'm happy with that. There's a couple more on the ground down here. We'll just get rid of them. And now we can turn on the sorting system, which is uh, laden with goodies. Oop. I'm stuck. Okay, a little bit of lag while these kind of transport goodies up top. Oh, there's a lot of stuff down here as well. Oh, look, we can use that little E trick that we just discovered to kind of speed through all of this too. That's nice. Okay, good. What about the other side? Maybe over here. Get rid of all of these loose items on the ground right here, like that enormous emerald. And it doesn't really matter where we stick it on the conveyor belt because we do have a hook centralizer kind of later on in the circuit. Good. And one here, one here. I've got a couple more to drop down. Yep, a little bit of frame drop. Okay. A little bit, little bit touch and go. And one gold there. Good. Excellent. Okay. So now that that's out of the way. Ha. Oh. That's what I said, lol. Unconstipate? Oh, right. Unconstipate. I have lice licks here. Let it flow free. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are the x lax of engineers. Did we get our straights? Yeah, we did. We just dropped the uh, excess on the ground over here. Uh, we need levers. We actually need levers now, I think. Because otherwise, these are just going to flip on and off over and over again, aren't they? I think so. How do these work? Turns an incoming logic of 0 into 1 and anything bigger or equal to 1 into 0. Okay, let's put that there. I think we can actually just cable these up, right? Like, in good conscience, we can just do this. It's fine. It's... Yuck. That's not right either. 
Gotta turn it around. That's not right either. Yuck. Hate that. Uh, that's good. That's that's all lined up. Uh, we'll get all the straights up here now. Do that far one first. Right there. And this middle one last. And we'll do that far one there first so that we don't accidentally clip onto this one when we place it. Awesome! Everything should be good. Everything should be Gucci. Let's see if it's just going to dump spanners as soon as we stick one into the slot. Because we've got one right here. No! Oh, so we don't even need the levers. We just need to replace these T-junctions with elbows. Which I think, funnily, we kind of anticipated in advance, didn't we? Let's do that. Because it'll get the T-junctions out of the way, and we don't really ever want to turn those off. Okay. Dump, dump, dump. And we want to dump these ones. Dump and dump. Good. Okay. Fantastic. Ooh. That is kind of backwards, but I, I, I don't mind. I'm not mad about it. I'm more mad that we had to decongest all of those machines. That was a little bit annoying. <laughs> okay, and uh, two over here. Whoops. Probably want to... That went around, right? Sure, that'll do. And one more. There. There it is. And the logic system should be up and running. Hopefully, it's not just going to dump all of its crap. Uh, let's also get the kind of, like, auto-spanner... Refresh it, because this is going to be our next main base. So we want it to come basically under here. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's actually look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten straights and any corners. It doesn't matter what corners we have. Just any corners. Ten straights, any corners. Four of them. Ten straights, any corners. We're also going to need an outtake pipe and a bunch of other pipes, which we should already have downstairs, but... I think, I think it's good. I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't think it's really going to make a difference. We just need an outtake pipe. Hello there, friend. What do you want to buy? Give me this, and I'll give you my tokens. That is a big sapphire. Uh, sure. I'll get to that later. First things first, we want to set up the auto repair system to basically be infinitely um, refreshing. So, um... I don't think I've ever, like, tried this out physically, but I've always had this idea that if you have a conveyor underneath all the spanner hurtly units, then the spanner hurtly units will literally just pick up whatever wrenches touch them. So if you put a bunch of wrenches, packs of wrenches, onto the conveyor belts, it'll turn into a circle and the the hurtly units will literally just pick up what they need. So we'll go to conveyor nation first. We need 10 straights and 4 of any corner. Oh, let's drop this down here. Good. This one right there. Or not. There. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Mm -hmm. And how do we want it to turn? Basically, maybe rights. I think the rights are the, the nicest looking ones. Maybe for mm -hmm. what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll pick up the rights. One, two, mm -hmm. three. Three. And four. Good. So we need to pay for this. Three grand, that is a bargain bin kind of sale right there. Do a sale of all your ores. I just want to know how much cash it will be. Not the cash, of course. Wait, what? What do you mean, wait, what? I think it's going to work. I think this is going to work. Uh, we also need an outtake pipe, which I'm pretty sure is backwards. Or a gems and it went to cash. Oh, no, we don't want to sell any of our gems. They're worth almost nothing. Uh, we want to exchange them for quests. They're a major cash cow for quests, and they are worth literally nothing um, in terms of financial gain. We actually sold an entire bucket of gems after like three hours of generation in the first episode. And we only got a few thousand for it. It was nothing. Over at Ember Cradle, we should have a couple of hundred thousand already sitting there for us. Where is it? There it is. One outtake pipe. And we are going to purchase this with uh, money. Right here. Let's go ahead and grab this and we'll back it up into the sale area. And we are rung up. Let's run back. We're getting our steps in this time. We're going to give the tractor a little bit of a rest while we uh, get our steps in. Now, I'm, I'm not joking. Once I get this conveyor belt system set up, we are going to go and look for some quests. We're going to try and hand in a few quests. And then we're going to check out the DLC. I don't think we'll be looking for quests for long, to be honest. We just need to grab the scrolls off of people. And we also need... Actually, we need a chisel to kind of cut gems for people. 
And the excess we'll put back into the gem compressor as kind of like the total. And we also need a saw to cut ingots in half because people are also going to ask for a series of ingots as well. That should be fine. We'll do that. We'll do exactly that. Okay, we're almost home. We'll jump straight down the nuke hole and we'll set up everything that we need to set up. This area is weirdly dark, isn't it? Oh, this is the wrong place. My mistake. My mistake. I hope no one was showering there. Okay, uh, so this should be our... Yeah, I see our truck over there. I actually see the monstrous sorting system that we've already set up over here. I think we're going to probably get to the point very quickly where we're going to start expanding out our machines uh, quite quickly as well. So maybe we should see how much of the clout, cloudium ore that we have. Also, doesn't jewelry sell for a lot in this game? Yeah, but so does just base gold. I don't know if you've noticed, but money is no longer a problem for us. Uh, so we're going to kind of like conserve our gems and stuff for quests. Some quests will actually demand that you craft uh, some kind of item, like a sword or an axe or something like that. We don't really want to mess that up. Okay, let's go ahead and put this... I don't know, like, down here, underneath. This what's my doodle right here, so that it, it's a little bit in line, I think. And we can put... Actually, let's stick it here. So we can just walk through here. And... Then we can stick one of these hooks on it later. We won't do it now, but we we probably will do it in the future. Okay. One of these right here. No, let's get a T-junction there, actually. Get a T-junction right there so that we can kind of, like, get all the things connected up. No, we don't want a T-junction here. We... Sorry, I'm doing some thinking. We want a T-junction here... Uh, we will stick this there, and we'll put the chamber right there. This, no, because this actually needs to be the, all right, so this needs to go one further back. This needs to go here. We'll put the hook on that in case we ever need to stop it, and we'll put that there. Now we need a bunch of straights, so let's just go ahead and uh, try and straight dump onto the ground right here. One, two, three. We need about ten of these, I think. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Oop, that's a T junction. Nine, and one more. Ten. Good. Whew. Also, I feel like the autocorrect has gotten worse and worse. Instead of fixing actual mistakes, it changes words into the words it thinks you're going to type. I actually fully agree that. I made that observation um, a couple of years ago. It's awful now. It doesn't It doesn't function as intended. I, I don't know why people still use um, the autocorrect feature. Like, I obviously still use it because sometimes it'll get something right, but not frequently. Uh, let's change that into an elbow. This one right here. We, d we don't necessarily need this one to be a straight. We don't have to put it all the way around in sequence. We basically just want it to seat underneath all of these and auto-repair these items as they kind of pass by. One here, another elbow is needed. I hope this is going to work. I, I don't actually know if this is going to work. I've never tested this out before. One here, one here, and probably need another straight, to be quite honest. Or not. We need an elbow, actually. To, no, we don't. Oh, this is in the way, so we can't stick past there. We do actually need two elbows where we are standing, and we need one more straight. Just one more straight. I'll get one more straight. I'll plug this in right here. And this one can go right here. Good, 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 good. Uh, we also need one of these to be a T-junction so that we can pipe it in from above ground, which is not going to be a project for this session, but it will be a project for uh, maybe one of the future sessions we do. So I'll leave that one right there. And we'll get another elbow. Stick this bad boy all the way around here. Good. Get rid of these goddamn cables. They're just annoying. One here, one mm -hmm. here. I think we just accidentally buried our pickaxe too, so let's go ahead and move this somewhere else. Right, so we need one more elbow. We don't really need this elbow, but we kind of want to close the circuit as well as kind of making it look nice, right? Okay, that looks nice. Well, let's start getting these conveyors down now. Right, there we go. One right. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Sorry, the orientation looked a little bit strange. One there. One here, and one right there. Need another straight conveyor over here. Good. I think they're facing the right way. 
Yep, definitely facing the right way. Right there. Now, hopefully we'll get another right conveyor. Nice. Put that one there. Hook it in there. Put a straight conveyor. That one's going to go that way. And the straight conveyor is going to go that way. Put another straight conveyor. We'll link them over here. And we've got the other right conveyor. Probably need to put a... Oops, sorry, acid reflux. Probably need to put a hook centralizer on here as well. But uh, for now, we should be fine. Okay, uh, now we want to grab all of these buggers. Actually, it's kind of hard to get all the bags on here, isn't it? We'll go ahead and grab the cart. We'll bring it over here. And we'll try and drop all of the bags onto this conveyor belt. I'm hoping that this is actually going to function as I want it to. Uh, whoops. These conveyors are actually in the way. All right, right, right there. It doesn't work. It doesn't function. Oh man, that hurts. That hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. Oh well, still kind of looks cool. Right? Right? Still looks cool? That sucks. <laughs> Oh, that hurts. Okay, we're going to have to manually stick all of the crap in here then. Which is fine. We can do that. Two, three, four in a bit, I think. Either that or it's full. One, two, three, four, and one more. We've got the measure. It'll take a few and then it'll keep taking from it. And I'll leave another one of these on top of this one here. Uh, or not. Uh, please? Please? Please drop it. Rindo? Please. Drop the damn thing. My god. Okay, uh, we want to disconnect this whole thing because it doesn't function, unfortunately. We'll just kind of leave that there and we'll get this out of the way so it doesn't make any noise. Alright, I tried. I did my best and it didn't, it wasn't quite good enough, but we did try and that's, that's probably good enough. Drop that car behind us and we'll start fisting these in. Good. Drop that one there. And we probably want to start fisting in this way as well. Yep. So they seem to go in perfectly fine when they're in your hand, but they don't go in fine when they're being kind of conveyed around the place. Which is a little bit of a shame, to be quite honest. I'll put one on top of this, if I could actually get on top of the conveyor belt, please. Or I could just drop it here. Yep, that's fine. Uh, let's grab this. We'll come back around here. Just before we start getting on some quests. Got that. Right there. Good. Uh, I'm stuck. Let's hit the unstuck button because we actually need to do so for once. And we'll come all the way over here and we are good. Okay. So, now that we're here, we probably want to fist in the last one of these before we kind of say, lady big bastard to this entire area. I'm going to drop the last two conveyor belts here because we didn't need them in the first place. And let's start mm -hmm. dropping... Or not. Oh, we can stand on mm -hmm. the conveyors. That's... Okay, this will do. And we'll drop that one there. Or not. Please? Okay. Alright, fine. We'll just leave it on the cart. We'll leave this place as just like an absolute disgusting mess. I, th I think and uh, we won't ever come back here again. Might be for the best. Might be for the best. Ooh. 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 Okay, now that we are done down here, we have actually made a really, really nice looking area. Isn't this nice? Isn't this a nice looking area? We are going to leave this area and never look down here again. Okay. Now, I'm going to go up top and I'm going to see just how much of the core stone and the Plasium that we actually have. Then we'll go look for quests. Oh, there's two ingots here. Let's uh, meld both of these back down. That's Cloudium. There we go. So how much Cloudium have we got? 147. Still can't make two little dudes with that. How much of this core stone do we have? 111 kilos. I think we actually need significantly more than that. I think we're going to need a heap more iron as well. Like an absolute heap more iron. Never mind, I think 800 and 8,500 kilograms of iron is probably actually good enough. Good! Okay, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and bugger off to the DLC area. 
Or we could go find some quests. One of the two. I think the production is pretty good for now. We just have to let it kind of run for a little bit. So we could probably go check out the DLC area, right? I, let's go check out the DLC. Okay, we'll come down here and we need to go to the docks of the city, which is just over here. The hickory dickories of the city. I actually see the ship we need to get on. But what I don't see is how to get onto it. Okay, here it is. Uh, we are going the right way, it seems. It's a big statue of a big pretentious dickhead. Oh well, screw him. Let's check this area out. And maybe if we can kind of work through this area, then we will go through it slowly. We'll go through it slowly. And if we can't go through it, we should probably go back here and maybe do some quests for the king. Actually, no. Uh, uh, no, we want to go back. Let's do the quest for the king immediately. It's only going to take like 20 minutes. Oh, okay, let's not. <laughs> Can we just jump off here? No, we can't. Oh, there's a lower level. That's nice. Very nice. Melt down the statue for free gold. You don't think you should get a silly car? <laughs> I've got a silly car. I've had two silly cars in the uh, very recent future. I've got a, got a Toyota Vitz right now, which I, I hate them so much. Don't ever buy one. They suck so bad. And before then, I had a Nissan March, which kind of also looks really, really silly. Okay, so this is a completely new area. I have just had a sneak peek of this region. I know that there is actually story here. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is very kind of like Morrowind, isn't it? It's like Soul Time from Morrowind. Over here. I just don't know how big this place is going to be. Oh, we can't just literally leap off the side before the ship stops. That sucks. There's another one of these uh, golden dickheads here with a uh, gigantic scepter. I'm pretty sure he's, like, fantasizing that that's a giant phallus. Which is why his, uh, his big kingly mouth is watering. Gross. I don't want to think about that. Yuck. Jensen, I'm about to log off for the night because it's 12 a.m. That's absolutely fine. You have a great night. I'm not saying they're bad cars, but a lot of designs look bad. What, the Vitz? The Vitz is... Ah, it's a horrible drive. We've heard about. Welcome to Volcalidus. Things are a lot different here, but you'll get it. There's no water sources, but there is lava-powered machines. Lava! You'll progress far if you help rebuild the town of Newglade, but until then, the nearest jeweler is in this arbor. I need you to take this to Dawnrest. Ah, uh, sure, what is it? There's a big site south of here that you can use. Take the truck we've left next to this ship. Is this sold time? Thanks. Uh, should we have maybe brought money with us or something? <laughs> ah, there's that truck. Okay, I see it. I can't really see half the screen, but I see exactly where we're supposed to be going. Hello there, sir. Do you have a quest? Are you the bugger who hit me with a snowball? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would you say such a thing? Oh, a map. Okay, let's take a look at this. So we've got New Glaze, which is I think where we're supposed to be going to. There's Mott's Island, or Moe's Island, depends on if he's French or not. We've got the Shattered Outpost on the other side of this place. We are currently in Lumberton Harbour. Oh my days, there's Lumberton Bluff, which we're right beside. There's Dawn's Rest, there's uh, Waterside. There's a gigantic mountain, Volcalidus Peak, and it's got a gigantic anvil right in the middle of it. It's a masterwork forge, according to the map legend, which is just over my shoulder. Wait, you're standing on compacted ice? How is there no water sources? Uh, it's frozen. I imagine that's why. It happens in cars a lot as well. There's also Scoria Chamber. The Baron's Harbour. Never heard of that. Looks like there's some of the map that's kind of covered over. Wow, this place is enormous. So we want to take this to New Glade. So we want to basically follow the road this way. Well, I think there's going to be a problem with that immediately straight off the bat. We're going to want to follow that road and then we want to hang a first right. That should be it. That should be all we need. Okay, we're in a lava-powered car. This is cool, actually. We're lava nears. We're coming all the way around here and we are not going to flip the car because we may burn someone to death if we do so. We want to take the, the next right at the next T intersection. I don't think we're anywhere near it. It's kind of slow, actually, for a lava-powered car. I wonder why lava. Whoa, okay. Look at this. Oh my God, what is that? 
fat. Unrefined Forge Mark. Take to the Shattered Outpost Refiner to turn into a Forge Mark, which can be applied while forging pickaxes, shovels, drills, and harvesters. Too heavy to lift. Okay, so there's machinery that we can actually use to kind of like move things around. That's awesome. Welcome to Skyrim. Absolutely. Melt the ice, you're literally next to a volcano. Yeah, but then you'll just get obsidian. You'll just get volcanic glass. You won't actually get anything that's useful or liquid. It'll just harden. Because it'll it'll get to a nominal temperature and that'll be something hard. Oh, there's some dickhead over here with a camp. Hey, dickhead, I'm you! <laughs> if you couldn't tell by me calling him a dickhead. What is that? Is that a dome? Is that a dome? Or is the whole city just like encrusted in ice and the entire objective of this DLC is to kind of like uncrust the, the town of ice? Maybe. We'll see. Good God, what is this, Mordor? <laughs> the Southlands? I mean, if the volcano's just erupted, it's probably the Southlands, uh, or maybe just named to Mordor. Don't put directly on it. Keep a bucket next to it. Catch the water pa vapor, purified water. Uh, yeah. You could do that, but when you remove it from the area, it'll freeze. <laughs> That's the main issue here. What the hell is this bubble? All right, there's supposed to be one quest guy, right? In here, let's check out map again. Where is he? We're at New Glade. I think he's supposed to be this way, just down here. Where is it? Royal Dispatch Service. That's apparently us. There's a shop here. Whoa, lava pipe. This is so cool. Oh man. Logic gem compressors, okay. So the more things change, the more things stay the same, it seems. Can we get in the lava? One way to find out. Oh, I just got an achievement for touching hot lava. We're also stuck. Okay, that's not good. Uh, let's just kind of like go down this lava river <laughs> and try and find the guy we're supposed to be delivering this package to. Is there some here? Hello, friendo. There's 1.5 white gold, I think. Okay, that's fine. I don't really care too much. Uh, so we want to take this to Elsie. Who and where is Elsie? Is this pets? We make pets. Cool. Still, she's awesome. I love this. Is this Elsie? Give me some bones. Don't forget to put them in the box. Okay. Your trench foot, uh, trench foot protects you from the heat of lava. Yes, we now have obsidian encrusted boots. Over the socks that we wear. Is this Elsie? I'll trade you. No, that's Lillian. Are you Elsie? Sir? Are you Elsie? No, I think he's actually a stock trader. Oh, he's buying jewelry. And gems. Oh, there is a fifth type of gem. It isn't in the base game, though, I'm pretty sure. And there's some iron over here to be sold. Okay. What is that? Uh, let's go meet everyone first. Hello there, are you Elsie? Elsie? Nope, just a silent, random NPC. NPC, no Elsie. It's under the socks now. He wears the socks above the obsidian style choice. The The socks are now also obsidian. So we're wearing obsidian socks over our obsidian encrusted feet. Disgusting. So you're Sir? the Idrin here everyone's been chatting about. Uh, yeah, where's Elsie? Literally, just point me in the direction. I'll deliver this package. The hell is going on here? What is this? Oh, the signs are a lot more kind of in your face in the last place as well. That's good to know. Hello there, sir or ma'am. Are you Elsie? <laughs> okay. Some of the purple flags as well. What the hell is that thing? I think we're supposed to go straight to that, right? Okay, let's do that. Let's go straight to the heart of the mountain. What? Okay, let's not throw the package. Okay. I just got launched. I didn't know that was a thing, but thank you very much. Are you Elsie? Elsie? Are you Elsie? Elsie? Are you Elsie? 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 No, you're not Elsie. You're a bearded man. Hello, Elsie. Elsie could be a man as well. Give me this, and I'll give you the tokens. A wedding ring for your tokens. Nice try, gold digger. Nice try. Nice try. All right, we've almost made it back to the start. Are you Elsie? No, you're a weird bearded man. That's fine. 
What about this guy? Now we've talked to him. Okay, so we don't know where or who Elsie is. Are you Elsie? Nope. <laughs> it's not Elsie. Oh, Dawn's Rest. This isn't Dawn's Rest. This is a city. Okay, where we buy things. Where is Dawn's Rest? Way back where we came, actually. It's very, very close to where we kind of split off. Let's also take the package. Let's not leave it in the road here. Okay. Good way to read the map right there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's go around here. We'll also flip the car. Ah, great. Nothing's changed. The car still has a mind of its own. There's a burning house over there. Don't know why somebody put a house there. Or over there. That was a stupid decision. Why? Why? Just why? Okay, uh, we are pretty close to Elsie's rest. I think it's on the right. Maybe it was the dickhead with the tent. Maybe that's who we were supposed to deliver the, the crate to. We'll give it to the dickhead in the tent. Damn, that is a, that is a pretty big volcano, honestly. Maybe not big compared to IRL big, but definitely big compared to my instance of big. Right, this guy right here. Is this Elsie? Let's see. Man, this thing's hard to drive. <laughs> okay, we'll come out here. And we are Gucci. Let's go ahead and bring up this crate. I think this is Elsie. Elsie! Here, here you go. You're welcome. Thanks. I'm well chuffed. I need you to deliver this. Oh, really? What do I look like? A delivery man? Seriously? Like, I'll do it, but... Really? 250 buckery boost, sure. Okay, this is New Glade. So this is the place that we just went. Let's go back. Let's go back there. Bye, dickhead. We know her name now. It's Elsie. So people on this, on this island know you. Ah, right. Just look for the, the guy with the, with the shoes that sound horrible when he walks. You might think it sounds like a, a glass being tapped with a fork or something like that, but it's not. It's, it's more like uh, nails scraping down glass because of all the rocks that we're walking on. You can hear us coming from a mile away. And everywhere we step, there's broken glass everywhere. So, you know, people have to wear shoes. Otherwise, they get their feet all cut up. We are literally a new hazard. <laughs> we are a health and safety violation. All right, giant bubble up here. Gigantic bubble. Let's pop the bubble. And we'll try and find whoever this bastard is. Probably this bastard right here, right? Hello, sir. Oh, that might complicate the delivery a little bit. I'm sorry I hit you with the car. Would you like this package right here? Get me my package and I'll give you some coin. Here you go. Thanks. I'm no, thank shocked. you. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> Do I actually look like a repairman? Uh, a delivery man or something? We have 450 buckery boost right here. Hello, sir. I'll take your package. To Burville. Is this just going to be endless? Are we just endlessly delivering packages? I'd say, <laughs> I'd say it's more for your multiple accounts of vehicular manslaughter. Maybe. New stars travel fast around here. And your one count of ritual sacrifice. He escaped. He escaped. He escaped. There's no ritual sacrifice if he escaped. Uh, let's look at the map real quick. Or we could just give ourselves epilepsy. Where are we going? We are going to Burville. Yeah, Burville, which is through the town and the next left. Okay, we'll do the tour. We've got to go back, 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 back. Back it up. And we want to go around... Somebody's just looking at me tip my car over like, oh my god, that's the new guy. Seriously? Whoops. Just hit somebody. Oh well. Sucks to suck. Up, oh, And he's gone. Nice, I launched him outside the castle walls. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Sucks to be him. What about this guy? Can we launch him? Yep. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Okay, let's come out here. Did we launch him into the lava? I think we might. Yeah, we did. Oh, poor bastard. So we're going to come out here and we want to hang the next left that we see. We're going to do a tour. We're going to see what this place has to offer before we kind of commit to, to mining this place for its valuable resources. I think we have to go across that bridge. In fact, let's just go straight across. Right? Might be a good idea. I mean, there's water here. We could probably get water access there. I don't think there's anything over there necessarily that we want to see, unless there's another one of those anchors that we saw right at the start of the map. I, d I think we may have gone the wrong way, but I also think that maybe this is where we want to go right here, possibly. I mean, they wouldn't know if he didn't escape. Yeah, true. That is true. That is true. We left him alive to tell the tale. I hope this is it. 
So there's got to be something about this place that's utility, right? Because there's always utility about everywhere. Right here, what does this guy have to say? Nothing. What's he got? Are we selling things here? Oh, he's the conveyor belt man. Good to know. There's a sled guard. Nice. Centralizer hook, gem polisher hook. All of the hooks that we could possibly need. There's also frost pipes right here. Don't know how the hell that's going to work, but... It is what it is. Is this an igloo? Oh, we can make an igloo. That's silly. What is this? Volcalidus Peak Trophy. An expensive ornate sculpture of Volcalidus Peak to flaunt your wealth. Oh, my days is 100,000 bucks. That's not the maximum you can get. We've earned way more than that just in the beginning area of the base game. All right, are we in the right area? We are actually in the right area, so let's go ahead and drop this. Whoops. Or we could get into the truck and uh, not get the crate whatsoever. So who do we need to give this to? Uh, Not that guy. We need to get to Frederick, who lives here, apparently. What the hell is this? Scrap. Okay, there's Scrap Merchant right there. We didn't hit this guy, did we? This isn't some guy we accidentally hit with our car and we just launched him. I think this is him, actually. Excuse me, sir. So Got a package. That is a ponytail and a half. Why are you following me like that? Oh my god, seriously? They're giving me increased rewards. So I think it might be best to do. I think they might run out. The frostbite you get in this island merges with your beer trench foot body, creating a frost foot. Congratulations. Wouldn't that be frostbite? Uh, let's look at the map first, because we don't know where we're going, necessarily. Where's the map? Oh, there it is. Floating and uh, suspended in the sky. Where do we want to go? We want to go to the Shattered Outpost, which is... Wow. It's about as far away as it gets. We could probably try and hang two rights and just kind of go across the Baron's Harbour. Let's try that. Uh, so we follow along and we just take the straight until we get to a junction. We pass two roads and then we take left. Pass two roads and then we take left. Let's do that. We pass two roads and then we take a left. We pass two roads and then we take a left. We've got to keep an eye out for roads. Your body is too strong for Frostfoot. Instead, it further reduces your ability to feel pain and directly making you stronger. Nice, full damage can't harm us. Uh, so we've got to miss this one, and we've got to carry on my way with Sun this way. We don't need special... the hell is that? We don't need special buckets, do we, for the, uh, for the lava? What is this? A hydrosaur vertebrae. A fragment of a hydrosaur. The new Glade Museum would be interested in this. Okay, thank you very much. Let's put that on the truck and maybe hand it in when we get... There's another one right over there. Oh my god. Are we actually doing archaeology? Wow. Wow, we're doing archaeology. Uh, that looks terrifying. I don't know what the hell that was. What is this? This is a hydrosaur rib. Nice. Awesome. So we can now prepare for a good ribbing. Uh, let's get back to the road. Or we could just stick to the, the nasties. The nasties in the back alleys. So we want to miss that road there. I don't really see any more hydrosaur parts. No, 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 no. I don't see. Oh, yes, I do. I lied. There's one right here. I'm going to run it over, and then we are going to get out. We're going to pick it up and huck it in the back. What is this? A rib? Another hydrosaur rib. Very cash money. All right. Uh, we are scavenging like a pro, it seems. And we're also delivering packages. Uh, we want to hang a left now over here. I'm pretty sure I just saw a little orange glowy thing over here, too. So I'm going to go over here just before we commit to diving off that direction over there no maybe i did not i hope there's no i hope there's no parts in the lava that would suck wait a minute how are the trees getting nutrients when growing is on on impacted ice uh there's there's nutrients in water sometimes especially in soil it could be frozen soil it could, that could be what we're dealing with here i don't want to justify the plot of this game because i don't know it but i think that might actually be what we're dealing with here maybe some frozen soil Otherwise, why would there be ores in there? We'd only be mining compacted ice, which would serve no value if this whole place was compacted ice. People could just go outside their home and get it whenever they want. Okay, we're in the Barrens. This is probably the biggest part of the map, gotta be said. I'm looking around for little orange glowy things. I don't see any. Okay, there's a lot of snow covering my screen, unfortunately. Which is fine. We just kind of have to maybe take it slow and cautious. Or maybe we don't be cautious. Maybe we go balls to the wall and just kind of like go all over the place. Which is kind of what I've committed to, to doing anyway. 
Yep, yeah, they have no water source, so melting it down to sell water would be highly profitable. I'd say the water source would be melting it down from the uh, the lava, right? That surrounds the entire town. Maybe that's the purpose of the bubble. Maybe that's what we're doing. Okay, still not seeing any little orange glowy bits. Which is a little bit of a shame. Kind of trying to stick to the high ground as well, so we can see the most in the distance. I know we can't really see over the crevices and ledges, but we should still be able to see most of the surface area of this zone. Okay, we're heading up to another big lift here. Man, the Barrens is unforgiving, isn't it? Still nothing. Don't really see anything around here. Just buy all that out. Do a Nestle in Africa, buy out all the water sources and sell water to the locals. Oh, yeah. And then someone like UNICEF will come in and they'll uh, donate a bunch of water to all the tribes and a bunch of warlords will uh, go and mutilate some people in exchange for the, the water. Yeah? Okay, uh, I'm going to check the map. We're getting out of the truck. We're checking the map. See how close we are to the place we landed at. Uh, we're nowhere near it. We actually got turned around. How the hell? How did we get turned around? That's a, that's a weird one. Maybe we should just take our hand off of the mouse and kind of orient ourselves that way. Maybe that's the way. We're obviously going to lose a lot of a visual utility, but I, I really don't think there's many of the bits around here, to be quite honest. I think they might actually be somewhere where, I don't know, maybe we'll just stumble upon them. Okay, this is a little bit iffy. I'm going to get around here. There's a volcano right there. I think we just go this way. Right? We just go this way. We uh, we climb all of these mountains. And we go this way. A lot of crap over there. Oh, that's not a road, is it? No, it's just a clearing. Fine. I'm happy with the clearing, actually. The clearing is good. Clearing means that we are going the right direction. Pretty sure this is actually a road. Ah, good. There was a little uh, brazier right there. So we are going the right way. Wonderful. So we are almost at our destination. What the hell is going on over there? It's like a big floating ice. A big floating ice pad. Weird. Weird. Okay, still looking around. I don't really... I don't know how many of these bits are going to be around the place. The dinosaur bits. Because we've only found like three of them. They're all in a very, very tight cluster. Never mind, I lied. There's one right over here. Well, I think we also need to go down that way, maybe. Okay, let's get out of the truck. Try not to run ourselves over. We've just found the skull. Wow. What are the odds? Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay, let's check the map right here. We are... We passed it. We actually do need to go back that way. To the floating pad of ice. Let's do that. We'll do that right now. We won't screw around. We'll go to the floating pad of ice. See what happens. I uh, still don't really see any kind of, like, bits around the place. I know that they could be anywhere now, though. I know that they're not, like, geo-locked to a specific area. I know that they could literally be anywhere in this map. Okay, I'm stuck on the bridge. Why are these all chained here? Why wouldn't you just build a road up on the shore? Why would people need to be going to these icebergs here? What the hell is this? Uh, Hobson's Power Works. Okay. So we're still doing a bit of a tour. I think that's the guy we're supposed to give the box to. Go ahead and do that. Hello there, sir. How are we today? I'm mooching around here waiting for my package. Is that your package? Thanks. I'm well chuffed. Thank you. Uh, so. Do you need anything delivered? Ooh, this is like a meat hall. What is this? I think that that is, I don't know, we sell kind of like liquid there. Some kind of liquid. Boop. Okay, we got 1,250 buckery booze. Let's go to... The Lumberton Harbour, I think. No, let's go to New Glade. We've got to follow the road all the way back. Or forward. No, back. We'll go back. We'll go all the way back. And then we'll hook around. We'll try and get back to that city that we were at, where we kind of like tried to burn our feet off, but we just got obsidian socks. And then we will go ahead and hand in all of these dinosaur bones. I think that's going to be good. But I also think that it might be a good idea to polish off all of the uh, kind of like quests in the base game before we actually commit to doing this area full time. 
We've already found a, a couple of little distractions that are actually really, really cool, such as the dinosaur bones and also the package deliveries. I don't think that package deliveries are going to kind of come in droves. I think there's only like a, a certain limit of them. Let's go ahead and grab this one as well. I think this might be uh, some kind of rib cage or some thoracic lumber. It's some vertebrae. It doesn't specify what kind of lumber it is. Let's get back in the truck and we'll just carry on my way with sun. So that guy, the guy in the museum, he asked us for a bone. I hope that wasn't kind of like a, a, a euphemism for a different kind of package that we were supposed to deliver into his uh, bussy, so to speak. But I think that maybe we can also mine up bones. Oh, there's a bunch of dinosaur bits around here. Nice. Just, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab both of these bones. There's one up here. That's a, a foot. Great. I don't know what kind of foot that is, but I'm sure that the museum will tell us. Put that in the back of the truck. Let's go ahead and grab this one too. We'll jump up there. This is a leg. An arm. We found a foot and an arm. Well, okay. Something is a foot, but it's armless. Let's go ahead and go around here. We'll probably find a lot of other dudes now that we know what we're looking for. Just kind of on the way over here. But maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hard to tell sometimes. Really hard to tell sometimes. All right, I think that's actually somewhere where we can kind of, like, mine. I don't necessarily think that there's anything too big over there other than just a plot of land that we can kind of rummage through. There's a bone up here that I'm going to go and grab. Yummy, yummy. I'm going to suck on these bones, then I'm going to give them to the museum. I'll, I'll kind of, like, polish them with my tongue before we hand them in for a, uh, a, nice, a nice little surprise for the museum. They'll be all like, oh, this is... Strange. The uh, bones are covered in human saliva. Maybe the uh, maybe maybe dinosaurs went extinct because humans were eating them. But actually, it was because we were sucking on the bones for fun. I just realised there's only two watching, which I believe is you and me. Lol. I'm not watching. There's no way I'm watching. The um, we're just getting a lot of dinosaur bones at this point. It's not particularly riveting, but it is going to be something else. Hi, lovely. What's up? That all. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, sorry, you can see it just came in for a, to drop off a couple of goodies. Where was that dinosaur bone? I think I already lost it. There it is. Okay. Almost lost it. Okay, we'll come over here. We will grab this here hand. There should be both arms, unless there's, like, more of these arms, which is absolutely fine. Huh? Yeah, surprisingly, believe it or not, uh, viewers are quite few and far between in the afternoons here in New Zealand because that's when everybody sleeps. It's really annoying, actually. I it just got back into kind of investing and um, swing trading. And annoyingly, for all hours of the daylight that I spend awake, the US stock market is completely closed. Very, very obnoxious. So it's the viewers are not the only ones who are sleeping. Okay, we'll come back here. And we will dump all of this into this pocket right here, I think. Is this how we do it? Oh, cool! Archaeology. I donate a bone to the museum. That's one of the achievements mm -hmm. out of the way. Nice. Mm -hmm. Let's just drop it. Oh, we can't actually drop it in the way I wanted to. Righty ho. Let's just do it one by one. One here. One here. And one here. And we'll see what we've got to work with after this. Two ribs. One here and one here. Uh... We don't have a lot of it, but we I think we've made a Get dent for bones. Don't forget to put them in the box. Uh Shut up, my dude. Shut up. I I think that we got a lot of the bones. Retrospectively, considering how long we've actually been in this map. Although I have been actively picking them up as well. It's turn break for school, so there's a lot of kids who are playing game and binge watching YouTube right now. Yeah, but not my not my demographic. That's not what they're doing right now. Unfortunately, the issue with my channel is that people don't know it exists. The quality is there. The quality is fine. And uh, the social aspect, I think, has actually accelerated everything that uh, I really like about the channel personally. But at the same time, people don't actually know my channel exists, which is the hardest part about breaking into YouTube in the first place. Which is why it's so hard to reach the, the thousand subscriber mark and uh, become monetized. You've got to put a lot of love, sweat, and tears into your work before you actually get monetized. Especially if you pick the gaming space, which is uh, really competitive. 
There's a lot of people uh, on here who do not kind of want to know other streamers or YouTubers just because of the competition. I've been sandbagged by a lot of YouTubers already. And that's only because they were deleting my comments. My, uh, the like reach outs and saying, hey, want to do something together? Uh, they were being deleted, actively deleted by people. So I was kind of like waiting for responses. And then by the time the, uh, the hype for videos would pass, I realized, oh, well, actually they deleted my comments and they didn't want to do anything with me in the first place, which they could have just said. They could have just said that, so. Probably my fault anyway. Probably my fault for having reached out and trusting a YouTuber. Never trust a YouTuber. <laughs> They're just people. Uh, we're going to go back to the base game, and we're going to try and polish off I the quests for this kitchen. child right here. Oh, poor boo-boo. I'm going to go and make you a thing. Because we've probably got the resources to do so now. All right, what's down here? Probably nothing. Just the path back to the ship. All right, let's come over here. And there's the lever. We want to hit this lever right here. Wait, you're a YouTuber? Oh, is it not obvious? By me putting out content on uh, on YouTube? Isn't that a paradox? Yeah, I know. Like, I'm quite old-fashioned when it comes to YouTubing, though, and I'm quite an old person compared to people who are YouTubers. So when I reach out for a collaboration, I actually kind of, like, see it as a social element. I... I Think, hey, we've got a common interest, uh, maybe we could be friends, and then I realise, oh, no, they, um, they're doing it so that they can get paid, or so that they can get views, uh, and I just go against that. You know, it's a, it's a waste of time for them to actually look at my channel and think, oh, we could work together and do something. They just think, oh, I, d I just need to start pumping out lots and lots of content. Because unfortunately, that's what works. Alright, let's go to the castle. We need to go to Ember's Cradle, we'll see what the king has for us, and then we will try and exchange it for a little bit of goodies. For the king. Kobe! What the hell is he doing? I think he just took a crap on the... He just took a crap on that deck. What an asshole. <laughs> what an actual asshole. I would not want anyone to crap on my deck. Absolutely not. That'd be the last thing I want. You've trapped him? Yes, I think so. I think that's the sacrifice. The next sacrifice. Oop, I apparently just hit some road. You put him in jail. Yeah, that's a good one. We put him in jail. We finally made a jail. Finally made a jail. Okay, so we've probably actually got enough resources down here at Ember Cradle to kind of... Whoops. <laughs> sorry. To kind of uh, polish off most of these quests anyway. Whoops, sorry. Yep, uh, didn't really hit him hard enough. Let's just do it again for good measure. And down he goes. Poor guy. Oh, well, sucks to be him. Right. So, in here, am I going to fit? No, I'm not going to fit. Almost, though. I think he might have involuntarily <laughs> crapped himself from being hit by a car. Yeah, maybe. It took a while for him to process the fact that he was going to crap himself, I'll trade though. You for some guild tokens. Really? What about this I'll guy? Trade you for some guild tokens. Okay, this guy wants a 200 kilo dagger, which sounds like, quite possibly, the worst thing you could possibly use as a weapon. I don't know why he would want such a thing. 200 kilos is excessive. We're going to do it, but still, very excessive. We could probably set up at Ember Cradle. We'll probably have enough resources at Ember Cradle just to polish off everything that the crown is going to give us as kind of like a quest. All right, we'll come down here. We'll get an anvil set up, I think, and then we will start making a bunch of stuff. Let's go ahead and build out this kind of workshop platform area that we were working on last time, but we didn't finish. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, can I have that? Please? Good. Why is it insisting that I put it inside of the other one? That's so stupid. Wow. All right, put another one here. I'm going to put an anvil on here as well. Do I have a spear? Yep, we got this one. Put this one over here. Now, we need an anvil. We need a saw. We need a couple of other things. So we probably actually need some money. Let's see how much gold we actually do have here. Because if we... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, no, let's get the crap out of him. Are you sure he's going to use it as a weapon? He's got to, right? He can't even lift 200 kilos. Who can lift 200 kilos? Okay, let's pour this out. Uh, we probably don't want this whole thing, so if we can get ourselves a saw. Actually, let's just leave this out. We'll wait for a little bit more gold to fall in there. Then we'll go ahead and get ourselves a few more goodies. We'll put that there. We need some scales, which are just over here. I think we've knocked them with the construction hammer. Maybe we just want to kind of set everything up over there in the dirt. 
Yeah, let's set it all up in the dirt. Let's just do that. Uh, whoops. That's not good. Gold fell out. I know how that happened. Yeah, probably like that. All right, let's sell this one. The other one we will keep because it's probably got an enormous amount of gold in it. We're just going to sell this one. We're going to trade it for a saw and a chisel and an anvil. That's pretty much all we need. Nice job, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. So let's come over here. I imagine you're talking about the jewels. That'll definitely get us a saw and a chisel. I imagine you're talking about the jewels. They backed up a little bit. They're, it's a little bit constipated, but I think it's going to be fine. We just need a, uh, a magnet on a stick, and those jewels will be fine. All right, let's dump this in here. And what do we need? Saw. We need a saw. We need a chisel, if there is one. We also need an anvil. We're probably going to need a couple of furnaces. No, we don't. We actually have furnaces. We don't need furnaces whatsoever. Because we want to heat up these... Um, uh, well, what are they? The uh, the ingots. We need hot ingots to hammer. We also need a hammer. A blacksmith's hammer. That's a construction hammer. That's not good enough. Where is the blacksmith's hammer? We do need one. Right there. Okay. So, we are going to craft that guy a dagger. Boop. Okay, we've got our three things. I'll take the saw first. We'll go all the way over to our sorting system. Yes, your crown jewels. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, honestly, this is nice, right? This, this is just a, a nice aesthetic choice. I like this. I like this. It soothes me. There we go. Another one for the mill. I took a screenshot of that. Uh, let's go ahead and weigh this. That is... Oh, my days. 241,797 buckery booze. We're going to have to cut this in half so many goddamn times. Oh, no. We only need 200. Okay, let's see what this is. How many times have we cut it in half? That's 11... Whoops. Okay, so this one would be like 200, right? Let's see. That is 47, so this one would be 147. And uh, plus all of these ones would probably actually equate to a 200 kilo ingot. Let's go ahead and drop these into the smelter so it's nice and hot. Good, good, good. One of these and this one right here as well. Right, so, uh, let's go and get the anvil. We'll also figure out how to make a dagger. And then we will make one for that guard. I think we'll come back down here and we'll just make a bunch of them. Right there. Good. Is there, like, a recipe book somewhere? Probably be handy to have one. Right, uh, we probably want this one there. So we're going to be working around that area. And we'll go and get the blacksmithing helmet and we will start hammering our things very, very shortly. This one right here. Let's go start whacking up some daggers. Now, I still don't really know how to make them. Uh, let's go ahead and place this in case we need to melt down a bunch of ingots. Which we probably don't need to do. Probably just need to keep some on the boil. Alright, so we get 805 Prospect Guild tokens, which is probably actually going to get us a Cloutium Extractor. Needs to be 200 kilos of gold. We've got 200 kilos in the pot right there. So how do we make a dagger? Oh, I see. Good. All right, let's extract this. And then we're going to have to get our hammer really, really quickly. And we'll just start smashing things like this. While this is hot, we've got to drop this here. Get the hammer. And bang. Huh? Bang. No? Nothing? Huh? Really? Seriously? That was what we needed, wasn't it? Yeah, just a dagger. Huh. Strange. Wonder how this is uh, supposed to go. Oh, maybe we got to stick it into a crucible and then melt it down really, really hot. Maybe this is the way. Is this the one we need? Is this the 200 kilo one? Uh, that's 400 kilos. Let's go ahead and cut that in half. Good. And we'll drop this into this furnace right here. Or not. You need it hot? You need it hot? Yeah, 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 yeah. We figured that out. Maybe we should just put this on the anvil. Maybe that'll work. Maybe. Big maybe. Has that melted down yet? It has now. Okay, we are going to pour into the cast, and we are going to take the blacksmith's hammer, which is right under the saw right here. Bang! Or not. No! Oh, it cooled too quickly. That's annoying. Okay, we need to be really, really quick with this then, it seems. Uh, that's probably going to melt down, actually, before we can put it on here. Or not. It has to get really, really hot, right? So we've got to leave it on there for a long time. It can't just be molten. 
It needs to be a bar, but hot. Yeah, I thought as much. Okay, let's try and quickly just uh, pour it on there and we'll smack it with the hammer. There, drop that, put that on there, get the hammer out, and we'll smack uh -huh. it. Smack it. Uh -huh. Okay, this is strange. Maybe we have to leave it on for a, an extended period of time. Maybe we actually have to cook it. Okay, uh, we have... Not a lot to do here, while we wait, to be honest. Uh, we've got some lighting that we could probably actually put up next to our workstation so we can see. We'll do that right now. Put this right behind the anvil, like that. Turn it on. Good. Put it on the fire? Really? Surely not. Does that actually work? Oh, I suppose it does. Cool. Okay. Let's get rid of that, and we'll ignore that giant pile of gems in the corner there, too. Uh, okay, let's get rid of this mold as well, and we'll try and put this furnace next to uh -huh. this right here instead of on it. And we'll put that there, and we'll bang. Uh -huh. No, okay, not hot enough. What does it need to get to? Like, the six billion degrees? This is already very hot. Can we just... Uh -huh. What if we lean it up against the side of this? Will this actually take it? Huh? No, okay. I, I trust this. There we go, okay, got it. Let's take this up. Probably don't need that scroll anymore. Let's take this all the way up to the guard and we'll hand this in. Wow. <laughs> Come on game, cooperate. Okay, it's on the back. It's welded onto the back. So this should probably actually maybe crumple our entire quad bike, it's 200 kilos. But it doesn't actually appear to be the case. What if... What, the, what is the weight limit for this thing? Because it seems to not play well with some big objects, but heavy things don't really seem to make a difference. Oh, I just tried to swing this and I can't. Ah, oh, well. All right. I'd here you like go. You to make me yeah, I made it. I made it. Thanks. I'm well oh, thanks. Okay, great. So there's going to be another guy in here that wants something else. Something this guy wants a sword. This guy wants soup. I don't want soup. This guy wants 400 kilos of <sighs> clausium, 1,000 kilos of gold, and 5,000 kilos of iron. That is actually insane. We have to come back here. Wow. I didn't think it would be that expensive. We can't go up here yet, can we? No. So we definitely have to expand production over at the MILF's Aquifer, don't we? We'll do that. We'll do that. Money does grow on trees and swims in the seas. Uh, that's not true at all, my dude. It's not true whatsoever. My dude, an insane weightlifter. He is a bit of a weightlifter, isn't he? 200 kilos for a dagger is just insane. He's only going to exercise one arm as well. I just know that for a fact. So we've now got enough money to, I think, buy a Clautium... No. A core stone injector from the Prospecting Guild. Let's go and do that, and we'll whack it on the machine production over at the MILF's Aquifer. Then we'll try and buy maybe some more machines, because it looks like we're going to need to ramp up our production immensely. It doesn't seem like the gold at the Ember Cradle is really going to cut it anymore. Or he's a professional juggler. I don't think he's going to be able to juggle 200 kilos somehow. Call me crazy. I don't think so. Or his other hand is already very exercised. Could be. Could be. Unlikely, though. Unlikely, though. Okay, we'll come up here. We'll do a drift around this corner. Very cash money. So, this is where we need to be. We're actually going to probably be coming to this store pretty frequently, I would say. And there is no better place for our guild tokens to be than in this bucket here. So, we'll leave them right there. Good. Uh, where is it? Right here. This is 630 bucks. Perfect. How much better is it? Significantly better. Oh, my days. Good. So, we have uh, essentially, without getting any new machines, doubled the production for MILF's Aquifer. I hope that's welded. That looks so silly. It looks like it's got a jevil tail. I do like that. I like that a lot. Very nice. Okay, uh, we'll go and hook this up as soon as we possibly can. And then we'll see how much Cloutium that we actually have to work with for the tier 2 machines. Because I don't want to waste it all on that, on that one guard that wants us to just dump a bunch of resources into another 5 ton dagger. I'm not interested in- no, it was a sword, wasn't it? Swords require 3 materials. We'll come over here, get off the quad, grab the injector, we'll come down here, 
doesn't really matter that we still have these uh, kind of crappy Clausium what's my doodle for uh, the pipes because the injector is probably the most important part that's where all the water pressure comes from which is where all the speed comes from so let's get that off and we'll put this one right here boom right do your thing how much faster is it I think that's faster oh this one's not even on okay we'll turn that one on I think that is significantly faster, honestly. Ooh, look at that. It's more core stone. Great. Okay, let's go top side and we'll see if we can't craft ourselves another couple of machines. 400 clout, 1,000 gold, 5,009. Yep, that is a good memory. That's exactly what he asked for. It's too much, though. It's way too much. Okay, let's weigh this. What have we got? 155. We need 200, don't we? We need 200 to be able to make a set of machines. And it's useless to us until we can actually make a set of machines. We could theoretically waste a bit of space by having the harvester kind of like drop two things into a single muncher. But I'm not really sure that's what we want to do. We kind of want excess rather than rather than uh, space being taken up by anything. Probably get a, a big stack of them going up to the top, but again, that's going to be a, a drop in resources if we take them off of the bottom layer. I don't really want to do that either. Uh, we'll see how much Cloudium we've got in Ember Cradle. There is a guy on the road over here. Unfortunately, he's uh, not on the road anymore. We've just hit him with our vehicle, and he is dead. I think. He hasn't come down. Oh, poor guy. I think I just shot him off into space. He didn't actually come down from that. Embarrassing. Oh, well. We'll grab this one right here, and let's drop it into the Cloudium pool right here. And we'll dump this out. We'll see how much we've got to work with. Significantly more than we had before. So we can now make three more sets of machines. Let's do that. We probably also need some iron too, don't we? Oop. Oops. That was embarrassing. Uh, let's put this on our truck because we're probably going to want to take everything back as fast as we can. I got into the truck so we could grab this Cloudium faster. And in we go. We are off to the big place in Ice Helm. We're doing it. We're doing the big thing. We've got a bucket on us. Yes, we do. Because we might run out of fuel pretty soon. Uh, the tank's looking real low. Amazing quote. I took ballistics in school. Fascinating subject. Things go up, things go down. Yes, they do. It's, it's a real hit as well. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, no. And ballistics is always a hit. Otherwise, momentum would just carry on forever. All right, we'll come up here. Kind of gives us a little bit of a taste of the DLC island over here. I feel like they may have reused a lot of the art assets from, from Ice Helm. Kind of get what they were going with. Okay, we do have a bucket on us. We are going to use it to ferry all of our ores down. We don't want to make a bunch of trips anymore. We're too wealthy for that. Any trips that we make are a waste of wealth. Personally. Okay, we'll come down in here and we have the nice... Vertigo elevator here. There we go. Thank you for the motion sickness game. Got a little bit of a queasy wave right there. How do we all like the queasy wave? Do we all like the queasy wave? Okay. Uh, up here. Probably want to start making three by three, right? We'll make three at a time. Okay, I'll drop this in here. And I'll also drop this iron in there too. And we'll make three of these things that are already on the podium. We'll swap them out after we've made these three. One. Let's go ahead and drop the muncher down off there. Uh, and we'll also get these ingots that we need. Probably should take the bucket down there every time now too. Don't need to yet. I'm just leaving the bucket down here so we can get the other two next time. And this here is the second machine. Oop. Let's get this off the podium. Get that muncher onto the ground right over there. Uh, that was weird to look at. Kind of played that like Counter-Strike a little bit. Uh, we'll get these two, and we will dump them back into the resource hog. Right there. Let's hit this bell. We'll get this off of the machine right here, and then we'll get our bucket down south. And we want to swap these tokens out by now. Okay. Gonna dump that in there, and then there. Very good. Let's swap out these tokens. T2, yes. T2, good. Boop. There we go. And now for the next ones. Let's go production expansion. Uh, we're going to be more than doubling it. it. Like, we've already got the intake pipe, which has massively inflated the speed at which the machine's going to work. 
But at the same time, now we have going, we are going to have 10 whole machines working at once instead of four. We got another two go in there. Probably get away with getting a, a seventh machine out of this kind of run that we're doing here, but I think that's probably going to be a bit too greedy. Uh, let's come over here and we'll drop this bucket off the side. Drop this over here too. I want to dump that there, dump that there, dump that there. And as soon as we get up here, we're going to drop it back in here. And we are done with this zone after we filter all of these items into the beast over there. Good. I think we want to bucket our items back in there as well so we can kind of take them with us. Whee! Okay, there we go. We'll jump over everything. And we'll come back into this section. We'll just kind of grab everything. We'll shove it into this pit of nothingness and despawn everything as we can. Okay, good. Hope that didn't get stuck. I don't think it did get stuck. I heard it playing around a couple of times. Uh, halfway done. Another couple of these. I hope we've got enough piping to kind of put these in, right? Because that's been our major kind of choke, is just having enough elbow pipes to set up everything. And we also want these here little goodies in the bucket. Awesome. One right here. One right here. Very good. And we'll kind of drop this over here. Probably should have parked the vehicle with the bum facing the kind of outtake pipe of that, but didn't really have that kind of foresight. Which is fine. We don't need that kind of foresight. Okay. And we'll get back onto the elevator, which is waiting for us. Oh, that was close. We almost missed it. No, we didn't. <laughs> Wasn't even close. We still have like three seconds before it left. And now we want to dump everything, don't we? We want to dump everything straight into the back of this bad boy here. And leave it there. Free cash money. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to deposit that. Let's go ahead and just drop these off. Right there. Drop this one. Whoops. Again, didn't mean to get into it. Embarrassing. This one, drop it there. Drop this here. And there's one more right over here. Excellent. And we got a bucket now too. Great! I was really confused as to why I was hearing sounds of war in the background. It turns out I had a War Thunder ad. Wait, are you getting ads? You shouldn't be getting ads on my channel. Ah, yeah, probably makes sense though. YouTube's YouTube. They're not going to change. Yeah, let's come over here and we will drop off of this ledge like an absolute asshole. And we'll go down, we'll plug these in. Should probably at least think about getting some lighting down south as well. It's very miserable down there. Uh, we probably want to get a cart up here before we start ferrying all of those items down. Uh, we've made a real mess down here, actually. We've made an absolute disgusting mess. Okay, all of the machines are still functioning, it seems. Still drawing in from the top, except for this one, which doesn't want to. Oh, well. Yep, never mind. I think that actually just did something. Uh, let's grab this here cart. We'll actually load all of these straight pipes back onto it. Because we don't really want them kind of all over the place like this. It creates a bit of a mess. One there, one there, uh, one there. And that outtake pipe, we probably don't want that down there either. We'll just drop that there for now. Let's go ahead and unstick ourselves up top. YouTube puts ads on unmonetized videos, but give you nothing. It was on another YouTube tab I have, my music. Right, that makes sense. Okay, good. So now that we're up here, we want to fill up this cart with the goodies that we just got. Let's do that now. Uh, some of these goodies don't play well with carts, though. In fact, I don't think any of these goodies play well with carts. Good one. Two, three, those are our grinders. These I don't think play well. Oh, it kind of plays well. Nope, we don't want that intake pipe anywhere near us. I thought that was going to fall off, but it didn't. The devil? I only picked up five things off the back of the truck. Did I not grab them all? Oh, there it is. Way up in the in the sky there. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off, bugger. Okay. Just drop that there and hope for the best. And we got the best. Uh, now we want to drop down the nuke hole. Great. Down here. Okay, so we're going to have to start expanding out uh, sideways this way, I think. Which will probably require a bit of picking and a couple of straight conveyors. Busting over my seven pack of uh, dice animals. Nice. That is a good life to have. Surrounded by literally god-tier food. 
Right, where is the pick? I don't know where we've left it. We probably put it over here. We did actually put it over here. That was good foresight of us. Now let's go and kind of get maybe this side. Maybe we just kind of like mine out this side. And I don't know how we're going to pipe in to the machines, but we could probably take from this pipe here and put a T-junction right here and kind of scan over the conveyor system here that we have. I think we're going to do that. That might actually be the best option. We will do that. That is the best option. I'm fine with eating a lot because I work out a lot. I don't eat too much. I work out a lot, but I, I really should eat more considering how much I exercise. Okay, uh, gonna bust through. Kind of creating a, a little hollow here. Gonna take a wee while, but... I'm, I'm enjoying the journey. I'm enjoying the journey. We also probably actually want to mine out this annoying bit right above the conveyor belts too, so we can kind of get to the surface a lot easier as well. Because this is just obnoxious. We want to be able to just come along here as soon as we want. Is there anything sticking out? Not really, no. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. We probably also need to excavate further out this way because we have three machines to go in and we certainly don't have enough room for three on this side, but we will. We will need room for three. Okay, this might be good enough. Let's try this for now. Let's try that. And what we want is a T junction here. So we're going to unpipe this one. We're going to grab ourselves a T. Good. And we want to pipe in through there. We want to straight come across there. I think we can kind of like duck under these. So it shouldn't be in our way too badly. All right, now we need another straight. Here we go. Go over the conveyor. And probably another straight to pipe in over top. And then we're going to need a T-junction to kind of pipe in from behind all of the other things that we want to pipe in from here. Is that facing the right way? Yep, good. Or is it? It's going to munch her out. Just make sure. No, it is not. Ah, it's a little fiddly. Okay, let's drop that there and we'll turn this bad boy around. Go ahead and we'll mine out a little bit more. So we want to get some pipes in behind here. Might not be here tomorrow since I'll be at the gym. Might be able to watch on my phone. Oh, it's fine. You just do what you do. I am uh, basically... The intent of these streams is basically to record for content. Uh, I just also really like the social aspect of these streams, so that's why I keep doing them. Okay. This is probably enough. I want to be sure. I want to be able to get around it so I can kind of see if anything goes wrong as well. Let's also get ourselves a little bit of an exit just over here. Just in case we get stuck a few times more than we really want to because I don't want to start yelling and screaming at these machines again. Okay, getting a little bit of frame drop. I don't know why. Might have something to do with the giant pile of gems back at Ember's Cradle. Might have to get rid of that. And that should be good. That should be enough. But if only there was a way to use text speech. There is on Twitch. Uh, YouTube is just not very well supported by most most of the, uh, the streaming platforms. So kind of left in the dark a little bit. Okay, we'll put that there, line that bad boy up. So we need to do what we've done on the other side here and pipe in a, an elbow right behind this or a T-junction, probably an elbow. What have we done? We've piped in a T-junction to go underneath, right. Okay, let's do exactly that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get another T-junction just behind this one. Wait, why is the T-junction coming out here then? Uh, that's the water purification. We're not interested in that, so we actually just want an elbow to go sideways. There it is. Good. So this one comes in... I think this way. And we want it to go down the back of this baby right here. Yeah, definitely. So now that we've got that, let's get ourselves another elbow. This one will face downwards. Down with dog right there. Or maybe we get a T-intersection. We just line them in from... Yeah, let's get a T-junction. Let's do that. Get a T-junction... And we, instead of elbowing straight downwards, we'll actually just kind of try and line in a chain going down here and along up the top as well. I think that's going to be the best way. Uh, we do have to put a T-junction here. So let's go ahead and just spin it in. Or not. There we go. Uh, there. Awesome. And we'll put some T-junctions here. No, just an elbow for now, I think, because there's nothing that's going to go this way, I hope. We could probably actually stick another one over that way. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. 
Mike, I play some Voices of the Void as I continue this, as the game is either fear for your life or earn enough money to not starve to death. That kind of reminds me of Don't Starve, right? Don't Starve is a lot like that as well. Uh, so this elbow is going to go along behind here, like that. We want to straight to go underneath this. We'll grab that one right over here. Turn that around. So one more elbow and we can pipe into another machine right here. And we also kind of want a T in intersection here so we can pipe into another machine on that side too. Get another T. Right, the T's. There. Get a T. Drop it here. And we'll take this elbow out. We'll kind of use that to button to this machine right here, I think. Nope, already buttoned in. So we want to hook this one in facing this way like that. And we also want another one of these to kind of go into another one of these machines here. So we'll turn that on, because all you need to do is stick some soil into its bum bum, and then we are all good. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll stick another one of these machines, kind of hopefully facing the right way. Like, which is the output? That way. Okay. So, right here. Right there. Good. All right. And now we need a muncher on top of it. That is a grinder. We want a muncher right in front of it. Maybe if we put it here. Place them that way. Good. And we've blocked ourselves out of getting our pickaxe. Great. <laughs> Let's just run along here, I suppose. And we'll grab our pickaxe from the floor if we can find it. Oh, no. There it is. We dropped a muncher on it. We'll just clear out a little bit of a path so we can get back here again. Sometimes I just get jump scared by something I never expected at all. What game is this? Voices of the Void. I've, n I've never heard of this. Is that that one that you were talking about earlier? The free-to-play one? Fun time jump scare is when an entity is near you, it won't let you pause. It'll play a failure in your noise, which is terrifying. That is pretty scary. Is it kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's? Or is it a, a bit more like, um, I don't know, Honey Pop? Hard to tell. Yeah, it was? Okay. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. I quite like free-to-play games. I make a point of beating free-to-play games without ever spending money on them. It's a, it's a, it's a point of pride for me. But I won't ever stream it because it's an absolute slog to sit through. I should know I'm the one doing it. Okay, we'll knock out all of this crap here. Good, 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 good. And... We should be able to plug in from here pretty amiably. Yeah, definitely. And we can definitely walk under it too, so we're not going to worry about that too much. Why is that T-junction there? Why the hell is this here? Oh, these aren't being piped in. Okay. So, let's go ahead and fix that. This here needs to be a T-junction. So we don't want to congest anything up when we actually plug it in. Get a T-junction and we'll plug it in just down here. Coming facing outwards, I suppose. This one has to be an elbow. Going on top of there, right here. And there we go. And we also need a single straight to kind of plug them in. Good. They are both grinding. Excellent. Wonderful. So both of these should be plugged in. No, we need an elbow, a straight. Need two elbows and a straight to plug this one in. Yeah, we might be out of elbows pretty shortly too. So we're going to have to be a little bit conservative with our resources. Or not. Honestly, I don't care sometimes. It's like it's on its own class of game. It has no microtransactions. It's a passion project. Really? Ah, that's cool. That is actually really, really cool. It's not often you see passion projects anymore. Last one I saw was Indigo Park. Although in saying that, this one here, although it's a paid game, gotta be said, it's probably actually a passion project. So we've got two machines hooked up. We could probably actually turn them on and shove some soil into their bum bum right now. Let's do that. Get some soil and jam it in. Is that it? Is it pumping? Yep, I saw the machine there working. Let's jam some more dirt into the bum bum right here. Great. Okay, wonderful. So we don't need the shovel here anymore. We are gonna need, oh no, we need the shovel here. Just not, the conveyor belt's way too keen. Good grief. We're gonna need a couple of straight pipes to come through here so we can set up another chain of items. That's a T. There we go, we're gonna need this one here. Go ahead and plug in this muncher, kind of like facing out this way, but we can't really, can't turn it on until we get two conveyors down here, which we actually do have, kind of over here. There's one. 
One right here. Supposed to collect signals from the stars, repair generators and satellite dishes while trying to afford food, but I highly request you play story mode as it is amazing. I'll give it a go. I, I'll, I'll check it out and I will play the story mode. I'm a bit of a sucker for story modes in multiplayer games, by the way. I don't think I have ever liked a multiplayer game that didn't just have a banger story. Except for maybe the finals. The finals is kind of chill. It's got a lot of sweaty tryhards, but it's, it's pretty chill for a, one of those games. You know the games I'm talking about. Just like really, really sweaty dudes trying to beat everybody that they could possibly beat uh, because they, they think that the, the pixels that indicate numbers actually matter. In real life, those kind of guys, the sweaty guys. Sweaty guys that don't shower for days on end, they just play video games and do that. Okay, let's go ahead and mine this out so we can put a muncher up behind this thing. We also want to be able to reach it, obviously, so that's a big consideration of mining this out too. Okay. We have almost expanded. We have doubled our production by this point. We just need to kind of link in these last two machines and we should be A-OK -okay for the foreseeable future. Probably also want to set it up so that we can start linking in more machines beside it too. I know it's a bit of a cacophony of gross crap down here, so... Maybe we uh, buy some corks for the first time ever. All right, what are we doing down here? We want to get ourselves a straight and a T junction. Doesn't really matter what we grab, I suppose. Uh, one of those, and now it matters what we grab. We'll get this T junction. We'll put it here, and we'll get an elbow. And we'll link it into this here uh, grinder right here. And we'll grab this muncher and we'll stick it right behind it. Good. And what do we need to plug it into? Just plug it into a T junction and an elbow. T junction and an elbow. Okay, I'm a little bit stuck here. Uh, T junction. Right here. Going that way. And an elbow. Going out the other end. Here we go. Just heard a water filter auto repair. That is awesome. Put this in here. And now let's put some dirt in this bum bum. That's a pickaxe. That's not what we want. There we go. Shovel. It's getting a little bit claustrophobic down here, but the claustrophobia is a good thing. The claustrophobia is... It's progress. It's the soothing sound of progress. We can also scavenge all of these conveyor belts if we need to expand this out as well. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. Okay, we now have five machines pumping out resource at a pretty alarming rate because we did also just get this core stone intake pipe. Whoa, look at how these things go. How big are they? They're pretty enormous. Wow. That's pretty good, honestly. It's a single player. It can take a bit to get used to. There are so many entities, and it is an amazing game for a blind playthrough. Uh, maybe I'll uh, do it like a on a stream. Does it actually have co-op, or is it just only exclusively single player? I'm all about single player games, especially free single player games. Love them. Uh, so we've got a gigantic emerald, gigantic ruby, gigantic sapphire. The onyx is getting really big too. Uh, I think these machines are saving us a lot of frame drop, honestly. Like, an absolute ridiculous amount of frame drop. Everything's good. Okay, there's not really much more that we can do while we wait for these resources to kind of... kind of collect themselves now, right? Pure single player, sadly, but they might add co-op eventually. There's so, so many secrets. That's my kind of game. I will be playing a game full of secrets. God damn it. You're going to have to add it to the list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so frustrating. So let's go ahead and we'll take all of this crap that was left over from Ice Helm and we'll just drop it into these here buckets. Unfortunately, I got some bad news. We're going to have to do a lot of waiting now. Like a lot of waiting. Because we need all of the core stone that we can get to make tier 3 machines. We need all of the uh, clout clousium to make the tier 2 machines. How much core stone have we got? Should have a lot. We've got 235 kilos. I think we need... A bit more than that to make a tier 3 machine. I'll go add Voices of the Void. Yeah, definitely do that. Definitely do that. It's probably more likely going to be one that I play as well because I don't have to buy it. You know, being an unmonetized YouTuber is expensive. That looks awesome, by the way. This looks really, really cool. This is so awesome. Okay, let's uh, do something really, really cool. We'll actually grab the nuke off of the back of the truck. Oh, I'm almost out of time for the stream as well, so... I'm going to have to dip in a couple of minutes. Let's go ahead and think about blowing the nuke here. 
like right in the soil right here right there so we can get kind of like a nice viewport going for all of the production that we've got going uh maybe you want to dig it out a little bit more but i'm not going to i'm just going to kind of blow the nuke all right three two one impact and there we go we've blown the nuke uh it's not deep enough oh no oh no it's not deep enough Okay, so we have to actually dig it out a little bit deeper. We probably should have dug it out already, but we didn't do that. So now we're living with our, the consequences of our actions. Where is the pick? Let's go find it. Should be over here, right? I would have left it here. Yep, good. Right here. Uh, by the way, there's uh, there's WH, by the way, a small YouTuber called Cherex, who normally pulled in three views on average. Got a couple hundred, couple thousand playing the game. Wow. I don't know if that would happen again, but that is a thing. That is absolutely insane. I probably wouldn't play stream games for the views, though. I'm really just into it for the, the social aspect. We shouldn't be too far off of being able to see down here, by the way. So let's just try and dig down. Wow, we are way off. We are so far off. Oh, no. This is way worse than I thought it was. I thought that maybe we could create, like, a nice little viewing area for all of our crap. But it doesn't really look like this. Oh, is that it? Is that the hole? I think we found the hole. Okay, that is... Still significantly further away than we actually wanted it. We could probably go get another nuke and blow it down here, but we'll lose all the machinery. And the game isn't even fully complete yet. Like, the game play mechanics are great and crap, but they're adding even more to the story. Awesome! Awesome. Okay, I'm going to uh, kind of... Let's go ahead and go back home for a nice wrap-up of this area. This feels good. It feels good. We've got a lot of production going on. We are probably... Maybe 20 minutes from another set of Cloudium machines. And if we can just, like, keep on with that, then we're in a really, really good place to just absolutely pack out that entire area with machines. We'll be able to leave Ember Cradle. Maybe we'll go to Ice Helm. More likely, we'll go to the DLC area. But that is going to be fairly far off into the future because tomorrow I'm going to be either playing, and this might bother a couple of people, I'm either going to be playing some co-op horrors with Epic Flying Horse or I'm going to be playing... Undertale. And no matter which one happens, Undertale will be happening this weekend. I'll make a, uh, a nice special Saturday stream of it, if that happens. Okay. Nice. We'll go inside, we'll have a nice little sleep, and of course, then I will. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Hydraneer that I have made. Right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. And down here is the chair I am sitting on, and also a link to my Discord, where you can talk to me and my community whenever you damn well please. And until I make the next video or you catch the next stream, I will see you later. Goodbye!